happy Wednesday. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to walk over here. I was over there answering emails and so I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm not ready. I'm not in my normal spot. Hello, hello. Hello guys. Happy Wednesday. TGIW, let's say. Hi Perla. Hi Tiger. Oh, hi Emma. I see that Emma is here and Sarah Lee. Hello friends. Hi, Samantha and Diane and Sean. Hi, guys. I have some cool stuff to, to sell today. I'm, I'm pretty excited about the things that I have today. Hello. Hi, Randy girl. I have some poodles. I've got some Tanala. I've got some art glass. I've got some linens. I got, I'm, I'm excited about the things that I'm showing you today. I'm pretty excited. Hi, Barb. Hi, Nanette and Mike. Mm. Well, I see that you... There are a couple people that are saying that they are new. Um, so the way that this works is um, it's, a, it's a live sale. And so I'm going to show, I think, 61 items today. I think it's 61. And the way that this works is I will hold up an item. Everything has a number on it. I'll explain the item a little bit and tell a little bit about it. And then... Um, when I, I'll say the, I'll say the price and then I will say the number and the first person to claim the number in the chat will win that item. You will need to send me an email with your full, with your actual name, your YouTube name, if it's different, your shipping address and your PayPal email. I only accept PayPal. You can, you know, pay, PayPal is free to get on. You can link, you can sign in as a guest and, uh, um, link your debit card or credit card it's safe and secure it's free so um that's the way that you know you, you can send payment to me i do also have things that are offer ups and basically i will have a starting price and then you just say you know what price you're wanting to pay when the bid starts slowing down i will do a countdown and that person that has the highest bid will be able to claim that item. I do ask that you pre-register ahead. You can do that right now. You can send me an email right now, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and let me know all that information and you are good to go. That's it. It's as simple as that. I will be getting all of the items invoiced. I'm hoping to get it all done tomorrow, but um, if not, it'll be Friday. I am not going shopping on Friday, so I will be working here on Friday. So I'm going to try to get it all done tomorrow, but you will get an invoice from me either tomorrow or Friday. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to hear that you guys have gotten some stuff. Yay. That makes me excited. Oh, yeah. You don't have to have a blue wrench. You don't have to have a blue wrench. So if you don't have a blue wrench, that you can still, you can still, you know, you can still purchase things. You can still participate in the offer ups. All right. And Emma is in the chat. Emma is, it's Emily Pate. She is my daughter. She is my, my, my second hand gal. Um, she works for me, but she is not here. Um, she is working remotely. So I will be the one that will call who has won the item. Um, and during the offer ups, Emma is going to just type in stop and I will, it'll all be on by what I am saying. OK, if I say something wrong and you all are seeing it, I know that you guys will all let me know. But it, it, you kind of have to be in the same room to be able to say to call it. You know, Emma could say she could call it, but yet she's on a lag, too. So that will all change when Emma is here for good, which will be in three weeks. She's counting down. I'm counting down. We're all ready. OK, I do have I also have two items that I will be doing of as a giveaway. Um, the first, I, and I try to pick lightweight things, and that, well, the way that this works too, if you purchase something for me, all of the numbers, I do pick a number for everything, and it'll all be put back in the pot, and whomever's number I call that won that item will win the prize. The first thing are these two cute little retro salt and pepper shakers. They are plastic. I love the font on them. These are great for a vintage camper. Ooh, that's a horrible sound, but they just, it's like a bright orange plastic bottom. So you'll get those as well as a Stay Weird sticker. Um, these are actually available. They are $4. So if you're interested in a sticker, you can send me an email and they're $4. I could either send it with you 
in your package or if you didn't purchase something today, I will send it on my stamp. So just let me know if you want one of those. The second person will win these cute salt and pepper shakers. They are little metal, little baby irons. Aren't they cute with the little hand painted tulips on it? They are salt and pepper shakers. You can, you have to unscrew the bottom to get the thing out. I just think I would just use them just to sit on the shelf myself. And then you will also get a vintage rescue squad sticker. These are also available. They are also $4 each. It's the same deal as the other one. So let me know if you would like one of those as well as all as, as merch is all available um, in my uh, store here on Instagram or here on YouTube. So you're able to purchase a shirt, stickers, a mug, bag, whatever uh, it, that is available too. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Oh yeah, thank you, Tiger. Make sure that you are on live chat and not top chat. And, you know, typically my browser is a little bit faster in on my phone than anything else. Hey, sugar britches. Hey, sugar britches. All right, are we ready to start? I'm stirring up my pot here. My pot of goodness. 61 items, so here we go. All right, the first item, oh, these are so cute. I love the colors on these. They are these two cute little Dutch, little boy and girl salt and pepper shakers. Look at her. She is just, I just love their faces, but aren't they sweet? He's holding some flowers for her and she's like, okay, I guess I'll take your flowers. They don't have their stoppers, but super cute. They look cute on a tiered tray, I think. They are, thank you, Gma. one, two, three, four. They are $14 and they are number 17. Oh, good luck, Cindy. Or Mama J. Good luck, Mama J. 17, uh, $14, number 17 for the little Dutch people salt and pepper shakers. I see Gia Schaefer. Hi, Heidi. Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Basically, all you got to do is call out the number if you want it. Type it in. That is all you have to do if you want to win something and just send me an email. You know what? I wonder. I don't think I can pin something here. Um, I don't know if Emma, she's not on my lo logged in on my account, but um, my email address is in the description down below too. So you should be able to find my and it's thrifter junker vintage hunter at gmail.com. It's basically my name at gmail.com. You'll be able to find it. All right, these I've had for a while and I've been kind of hanging on to them thinking that they would probably do pretty well over the summertime, you know. But I think that these are, I want to say that they're cherries because, or maybe they're apples. I don't know, but they're these frosted glass. Um, this is vinegar and oil. Oop, they are hand painted. Do you think that those are apples? I think that those are apples. Hi, Lori. So these are apples. Oh, now Lori, the turtle coffee mug isn't in today's sale. It actually has already sold. Someone had emailed me about it. It isn't in today's sale. I don't think. When there's not a turtle one in today's sale. No. But there's still lots of other good things. Peaches? Baby, you think these are peaches? Those are red. Well, I guess they can be whatever you would want. Oranges? Maybe. They look red to me. Maybe they're looking a little orange for you. But they look red to me. Anyway, see all people are saying apple blossoms? You know what? They could be whatever you would want them to be. They aren't signed. They are frosted glass with the original glass stoppers. They are $20 for the set. And they are number 28. 28, number 28, $20 for the pair. Frosted glass. All right, I see Denise King. Then when you're serving, you could be like, oh, you would you like some oil? Okay. Pour it, and then you get to hear that sound. Oh, I love that sound. I think that those are those are nice. I don't know why. I just to me they just they reminded me of summer. I don't know. I'm starting to pull out like my things that do remind me of summer. 
So those, all those things will be coming very, very soon. Hi, Patricia. Tomatoes. But to, do tomatoes bloom? I don't know. Okay, this is the first offer up. Oh my gosh. I, I'm, I'm in love with this thing. I hope that you guys will like it too. I think that you will. And it is gorgeous. And so the way that we're going to do, I am going to start this at, I'm going to start it at $20. And so if it's something that you're interested in, once you see it, you can just type in. And it really helps things move along if we're not doing dollar increments, you know? Um, oh, oh, great. Can I, can you pin that? Did you pin that, Emma? Thank you. There you go. Emma pinned it. So it just helps things move along if we're just doing other than dollar increments. I know that you want to get the lowest price that you can, but we'll be here all day. So just kind of say what your price is and all that. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? All right. This is a beautiful girl. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, I love her. She's being so like, oh, oh, I'm being so, so shy. Okay, so it's a box. I think that this would be a wonderful Mother's Day gift. I would love to get this for Mother's Day. Hint, hint. I like stuff like this. But it is a box. Then, and it has this little leather. And again, I'm starting this at $20. It has this little leather lip here. And then you, oops, hang on. I can't do this sideways. Then you lift up the top. And then it has a mirror. And then on the inside, now this does, it slides, but this does come off. It does come off. It never was attached, I'm just saying. So there is her with the mirror on that side. And then on the inside is this divided box. I think at one time it might have had some like velvet or something in here. I think it's gorgeous. I just love this so much. But here is the box. When it's all put together. Isn't that pretty? Now, I'm working on a gallery wall in my bedroom of all of these girls. I think they're so lovely. Hi, Sandy. So, where I see $28 is Auntie Sash. So, it's like a little jewelry box or a makeup box. This is wood, and it's all turned here. I would say this is probably from probably the night between 1900s and 1920s all right i am at 28 dollars. i think yes 28 dollars. and i'm going to start saying this is last call for 28 dollars. this is glass it is not very heavy so okay i see 20 okay i see lea is at 30 hello ellie ellie i'm going to respond to your monopoly question i have it sitting there right just looking at me staring at me you could put your brooches in it dolores absolutely you could put your makeup in it you could put love letters in it you could do a lot of things with it i just i love it how it just slides up there all right Auntie sash is at 32 dollars lea is at 40 now the back of it is isn't wood it's like a it's almost like not cardboard, but like what a what the back of a picture frame would be. But all of the rest of it is wood. And the picture, it's the lithograph itself is in this wooden frame. I mean, I suppose you could probably just hang this picture up on the wall if you wanted to. I actually had it with a big um big plate rack, and I had it displayed like that. It did it did set up very nice. All right, Ellie is, you could, Michelle. I mean, uh, you could, if you wanted to. Composite back, yes. All right, Ellie is at 50. $50. I'm going to say last call. <laughs> $50 going once. I know that there's a lag, so I'm going to, $50 going twice. Hi, Beth. And sold to lea for fifty dollars and again once i say who it is even if it's you know past whenever because of the lag i have to call it by that because i don't have emma here with me to help but there she goes she typed it in anyway good girl emma all right lea oh i love this that's what that i was i think that is my favorite thing that i'm selling today 
is, is, is that because I, I'm in love with those like Gibson girl pictures. Hi, Blind by Beauty. Okay. Next we have, oh, so I, I bought these or actually dad has bought a big box of ephemera and he, he didn't think it was anything good, but, oh, hi, Miss Pamela. But I said, you know, I, I have a lot of, a lot of people that really are, they like to do junk journals and they like to do things with different kinds of ephemera. So I'm going to give it a try and you will get all of these things in this lot. Okay. And I'm, and I'm just doing it. I'm going to sell it for $25 for the whole lot of, I call it a stationary lot. So this is the first thing. It is a Shasta Daisy and it's, this is pink stationary and it does have the envelopes. I don't think it's ever been used. So the envelopes with the little Shasta Daisy stationery. And then this is a box filled with um, thank you cards. You know, these could be used like for graduation. They've got books here, but they're the cards and the envelopes in there. There's quite a few of them in there too. Um, this says Fleurettes. Fleurettes. Again, I just, I love, I'm a sucker for these boxes, but... On the inside, there are correspondence cards. But here they are, the correspondence cards. Some of them have roses, some of them have irises. And the, the envelopes, they're a little gummy, but they're in there. And then this is a stationary box. I love stationary boxes. I think they look nice and decor. And I just kind of filled it with a bunch of different things of ephemera. These are parcel post labels or parcel post labels. I haven't yet, Ellie. I'm behind. I, I saw I was sitting over there doing before I um, came on and I was running a little bit behind. I put some more of those thank you cards in there. And then there's these little cards. So there's just a bunch, a bunch of different little pieces of ephemera in this box and you do you'll get this whole everything i'm showing you you will get and then this this bag is filled with air mail envelopes and stationery i mean there's just tons of them i when i see these envelopes it reminds me of being in elementary school and having pen pals like i had a pen pal i think from japan and that was so cool when you'd go to the mailbox and you'd see your envelope like this and you knew it was like from your pen pal. So this is air mail onion skin paper. No, this is not an offer up. I'm just showing you everything first. This is going to be for one money. It's going to be $25 for everything. This is onion skin paper. I don't know. I've never heard of onion skin paper. And then this is air mail stationery. And it has a bunch of different writing and stuff. Via airmail, featherweight. Maybe that was it. Maybe it was like really thin so it wouldn't weigh as much. But this is like that onion skin paper too. Your pen pal was from Texas. Oh, your mom used onion skin all the time? And this is another one. I just, this one's almost gone. But I just liked that it's, it has this line, this really thin um lined paper so you get all of these and but wait there's more i love this box it's very nautical and it just has all kinds of writing with addresses and stuff on them seattle washington syracuse new york biddleford maine seattle washington memphis tennessee i mean all kinds of handwriting all over it and on the inside is just more stationary I love this paper. It is the talk of the town. And then here's more just like little calling cards. They're all floral. This is from the hotel on the Guagua. I don't know. I can't say that, but it's in Syracuse, New York. So a bunch of envelopes and stuff like that. So you would get all of this, all of this stuff that I just showed you. That's a lot. It's a lot of stuff for $25. And it is number 43. A stationary lot is $25 and it's number 43. So you get 
all of it. All of it. For all of your junk journaling needs. I see Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Yeah, I, you know, we got this whole big box of stuff for a great price. And I've been selling it bits and pieces here and there. And so I'm happy with it. And I know that you guys are all creative and you'll be doing stuff with your junk journaling and stuff. And yeah, sure. Listen, Shirley's got good internet, Mariah. We all know this. Shirley's got good internet. <laughs> she does. She's got good internet. All right, I have horrible internet. I'm just saying it's horrible. Okay, this, I got things on both sides of me. All right, this is my word book. Look at Michelle Greer's comment. Where are you at, Michelle? Michelle. Michelle. Michelle Greer. I don't see it. I don't see Michelle Greer. Did I just completely pass her? Michelle Greer. Oh, you want the shelf behind me? It's something that I'm probably in. I might be selling. I don't know. Not yet, but I'm thinking about it because I'm, I'm wanting to do a little something different back there. But it, yeah, isn't that cool? I would paint it because it's brown. And I'm just not a brown person. But anyway, so this book is, I showed this on Monday when we did the shop the shelves deal and this book is has some creepy pictures in it but it is my word book and it is by Lyons and Carnahan uh, 1946 is the latest copyright date on it the pictures were drawn by Ernest E King and Ernest E King had I mean okay first of all look at the horse and the dog they're so angry, and I love that about them. I love that. But, like, look at this creepy kid. Look at that face. Oh, he's just, I mean, he looks like he is up to something. So, it, but, it's, you know, the little pet, Tom, and I like my little dog. Do you like dogs? But the illustrations in here are, you know, the primary colors, but I... I love, them. look at that cat. He's so mad. My favorite one is coming up here. We need to find it. Oh, look at the jack-o'-lantern and the Halloween cats. Halloween time. Oh, it's so good. Isn't this good? I love it. And there's that angry dog again. I and mean, look at their faces. Oh, this one. It's Angie Santa. Look at that doll's hair. Aren't those great? Anyway, this is going to be $25. <laughs> Grandma! Grandma! Why you look so bad, Grandma? Look, I baked you this cake, children. Have you been good? Anyway, this is $25. Oh, look at him. I love this. The scarecrow on the front, and it's number 35. 35. Yes, it is like a little beehive. It's high. I like my hair big. Do not eat that pie. Scary grandma made it. But I see Samantha Richer. I just, I mean, some of the pictures are just, I mean, look at the doll. That doll will kill you when you're sleeping. It's just good. Thank you, guys. It's good. I love stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys, you're so sweet. Okay, here we go. I went to Walmart yesterday and they have a wide array of colorful bandanas and I bought one of every color. And I think there were like $1.50 for them. All right, next I have, you will get both of these in this lot. It will be these two flower frogs. There's the clear glass flower frog. I'm gonna just double check. I don't think that there's any chipping or anything to any of them. This one has the nice big um, hole, I guess, in the middle. Yeah, there's no chipping on these. You will get both of these flower frogs. They don't glow because sometimes these, these will glow. The clear ones will glow, but these do not. 
Um, they are $16 for the both of them. They're, they're two different sizes. You see how they're, they are different. And they are $16, number 53. $16, number 53 for the two flower frogs. All right, I see Tatum's Farm Stand, Farm Stand and Vintage Shop. I think those are my last two glass ones, so now I will be looking for some more. You know, I find the metal ones and I keep them because I use them to hold up different things in, in you know, my house and stuff. Okay, I have Fancy Pants over here. This is Miss Fancy Pants. Miss Fancy Pants Candlestick. Um, she is holding a basket. I mean, I don't think that she's like, she's not too fancy pants, but when I see things as such, they just are very fancy to me. You know, they're just, they're fancy. And she doesn't look like she's too fancy of a gal. But she's got a little basket and she's got a little sheep down there. It is a candlestick holder. There's only one of them. Maybe there were, there was a little fella, but this is, this is just her. It's not marked, but I'm going to say it's probably made in Japan. But it does have a little bit of purple around here, which I think is kind of nice. But no chips, cracks, or flaws on it anywhere. This is $14 and it's number 16. $14, number 16 for the Fancy Pants candlestick holder with her little, yeah, you're a sheep, not a dog. She's got the little flower decals on there. Okay, Betsy, you said sold, but Betsy, you got to type in number 16. Hurry up, Betsy. Type in number 16 and this will be sold. I got to know that this is the one that you got. Um, No. Jared, they have not, they have not. Okay, okay, gotcha. So Betsy, all you have to do is type in the number when I say the number, see? But make sure that you send me your all your information, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. All right, yay. Betsy's fancy pants this is going to live at Betsy's house. Hi, Sally. Hi, Tina. Picasso cat. All right. Well, Jared likes shakers, but I got these pig shakers and they are stinking adorable. They are made in Japan. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at these. Look at these little piggies. Look how little round and chubby she is. She's my favorite one. Because, you know, I can re relate to you, girl. She's got her little purse and her little flower. She looks a little chubbier than he does. <laughs> Look at that. Aren't they cute? So these are just adorable. They are made in Japan. They do both have their stoppers. There isn't, there's, I'm just double checking, but I don't think that there's any chips, cracks, or flaws on them anywhere. I think that they are adorable. They are $18 and they're number nine. $18 number nine for the two little pig shakers. I see Patricia Gesner. She is expecting. Oh, maybe she, I'm so sorry, girl. I just insulted you. Maybe she isn't expecting. Oh, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I should not have been so mean. But I still, I still can relate to you, girl, though. I really can. I really can. Thank you, Tiger. Yes, remember to give a thumbs up. Thumbs up. I do have an amazing fairy lamp. So what, what, what should be? We get to 250 thumbs ups and I'll go straight to the fairy lamp. And it's a good one. If you've seen it, my picture on a, eh, a good one. It is. All right. This is the last. No, I have one more charming tales, but this is, this is, well, I have two more. I just sold a couple of them and I left the sticker on the bottom. Rookie mistake. Misty. I try to be so good about doing this and I just, it doesn't, doesn't always happen, but Charming Tales. And I pulled this one because it reminded me of Mother's Day. Like you could give this to a mama because you know, she got all her little babies or grandma and all of her, all of her grandkids and stuff. She's reading a book. We don't know what book she's reading because it's not in, it's in mouse language. It's not in human language. But this, I think, is really cute. Look at this little sleeping mouse right there. 
And then this little mouse here is kind of, you can't really see, but you can see his little tail sticking out from underneath there. This little mouse is hanging off the side. I, I, this little one's just so little it can barely see. But I just think this would be really cute to give it to a mother or a grandmother. This one says, no one tells it like you. And these are made by Fitz and Floyd. And it doesn't have a date on it, but I'm trying to get that sticker off so you can actually see. It is numbered um, 89 out of 323. Super cute. Just a little mama or grandma and her, or babysitter in the chair reading a book to the children. And it is $12 and it's number 26. $12, number 26. For the cute little charming tales made by Fitz and Floyd, little mice getting a story read to them by their mama or their grandma. I see Patricia Robinson. Patricia Robinson. They're so cute. Those were really cute. I, I like looking at those and like really looking in on them and seeing all the details and stuff because they're they're sculpted really, really nice. They really are. Okay, now we have the cat shakers. I have received a lot of emails about these cat shakers. They are the Fitz and Floyd. These were called um, Catnap. Well, and this one on the bottom does say Catnap, Fitz and Floyd. Fitz and Floyd, they do have their stoppers. You shake the salt and pepper out of their heads. They, they nestle together like that. Look at their faces. They look so, well, they're sleeping. But still, they look kind of kind of snooty. They are $20, and they are number 34. $20, number 34. Hello, Toledo. Hi, Gabrielle. $20, number 34. Jared, you got him. And Jared... I don't know if you've paid, you, if you, I sent you an invoice, but don't pay it yet and I'll cancel it and I'll add these to it. So you just have to pay one time, okay? So don't pay for it yet and I'll just cancel it and I'll add to the other shakers that you had asked me about. Okay, sound good? Okay. Next, we have this. This was something that was chosen on Monday. Every Monday, I go and I, I do, I'll open up friend mail or just I'll open up something that I purchased or whatever. And then we'll go over and you guys help pick out things that I'll be selling for the week. Mainly what I'm selling on Tuesday because I do have a live sale every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And it goes back and forth between my channel and Michelle Comfy Cozy Living's channel. It's myself, Michael, the Cult of Vintage and Michelle. And we, we sell things and have a fun chat then as well. So you, I let you guys pick what I'm, what I'm selling. We go over there and shop my shelves. This is one of the things that was chosen, and it's so cute. This is this little white cat with these bright blue eyes, with a cute little butterfly on her tail. I, I want to say she looks very napco wear to me, but I don't. She doesn't have her original sticker on her anymore. Hi, Kitchy Cat. But she's so cute, isn't she? Wouldn't she look so cute, like on a stack of books, on your decor? She's only ten dollars. Hi, hello, Kim. I watched your sale yesterday. I didn't comment, but I was there watching. I liked the dog box. That was my favorite thing, I think. Anyway, she's $10 and she is number 25. $10 for the cute little kitten with the butterfly on her tail figure, number 25. Okay, Vintage and Vino. Vintage and Vino has a fun YouTube channel, guys. You should go and subscribe to them. They're a lot of fun. They like wine. I mean, oh, thank you, Toledo. Toledo has a fun, they have live sales too, Toledo Antiques. And um, they're going to be on a chat with me here next month, probably. I have to get my May stuff figured out. Okay. I'm going a little too slow. Emma's probably saying, come on, Mom. Hurry up. Wooden people openers. These came out of my own personal collection simply because I'm, they're hard for me to display because I have a lot of them. So I, I'm, I'm paring some things down and this is one of them. And they are the, cause they're, they are salt and pepper shakers. Okay. 
They they are salt and pepper shakers. But they also is a bottle opener and a wine bottle opener. Here you go, Vintage Vino. Nice little segue there. Nice little segue there. <laughs> so she's like drunk. Hello, people. I like wine. And I, you can open me up. But they have salt and pepper shakers on their heads, which is odd. She is the pepper. And she's not drunk yet. She's, she's fully capable. Fully capable to open your bottle. These are $16 and they are number 47. $16, number 47 for the drunk lady and her sober driver. <laughs> yeah, designated driver. I see Sandra Loza. Sandra, oh, Vintage Amino, you almost had him. Hi, dumpster diving Mo. You know what, the way I had them displayed kind of tucked behind some of my shakers, but they fell down all the time and scared me so bad. So I was like, you're going. You're not scaring me anymore. So you're going, you're going away. Okay, I have, I'm gonna show my first piece of uranium glass. I do have several pieces. Hi, Katie girl. I, oh, hi, sweet pics. I have several pieces of uranium glass and the lights are very bright in here, but we'll see what we can do. This is more, I don't want to necessarily call it Vaseline glass, but it is more of a yellow, like, okay. So, you know, this, can you see the difference? Green glass. So this is where it's not necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily call it, classify it Vaseline glass, but it does have uranium in it and it has, it glows very nicely. And it has these block optic little circles in it. Now there's only one of them. So, I mean, you could just say, I'm going to, I, this is mama's cup. Mama is going to drink out of the, this, the nobody else can use this, but me. You know what I mean? Check the chat above. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, oh, vintage and vino. Okay. Vintage and vino. Got it. Okay, well, there you go. Vintage and Vino. You get your, your bottle opener things. Emma, Emma, is that correct? Did I did I say it wrong? Just let me know in the chat. Yes, you, I agree, Megzi. But I also think that you could put, you know, you could put a plant in it or a flower in it. But, you know, you could drink out of it. Oh, that was for the previous item. Okay, listen, Emma will check it out. <laughs> Emma will check it out. So we're now we're looking at the white kitty. This is going to be so much easier when Emma's here. She is. She's going to be, it's going to be so easier when, much easier when she's here. So Emma will check on, Emma, check on the corkscrews and the white kitty cat. All right, let's let Emma do that real quick. Who won those last two things? That's why it's going to be so much easier when she's here with me. Three more weeks. All right. Number 47, the bar set went to Sandra Loza. And the white cat went to Vintage and Vino. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Tammy. All right. The... Uranium glass goblet is $18 and it's number 50. $18, hello Robert. $18, number 50. For the block optic uranium yellow glass goblet. I see Bonnie Roden. Bonnie Roden. I do have more pieces of uranium glass. I wish I had that in a in a set. Well, hello, Robert. You're new here. Well, all you got this is an auction or a live sale, and I do do some offer ups on things. So you just have to be the first one to uh, type in the number. But I do need all your information sent to me first. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter at gmail.com. So if you'll send me your actual name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email. All right. Next, I have a vintage recipe book lot. 
I liked these. I liked the, the graphics that were in them, but let me just show you, you get, these are all made by Good Housekeeping. This one is salads, but look at that, oh, the graphics on here. Hamburger and hot dog cookbook, yum, yum. Eggs, cheese, and wait, eggs and cheese, spaghetti and rice dishes. Ooh, look at there. You get the party pie, the party pie book, and meat, your meat cookbook. I, the, the graphics on the inside are just kind of, well, well, that looks appetizing, all that bread. But some of the little, the little graphics, like there's vegetables in here, and I don't know, that, what is that? Veal and sausage skillet. So you get all of them. They were originally 39 cents. And I want to say these are 1958. So these are all from 1958. You get all of them, one, two, three, four, five books for $18, and they're number 36. Oh, I'm sure there's Jello in some of these, Katie. Probably in, well, well, you never know. Could be in the meat book. You know, they, they did funny things with that Jello. They'd mix it with all kinds of funny things. So there could very well be Jello in the meat book. But you get all of them for $18. They are number 36. Oh, she's just saying, oh. All right, we're gonna set, nobody wants them. They don't wanna make these delicious meals. You can use them for junk journaling too. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Tatum's Farm Stand and Vintage Shop. She's gonna make all kinds of good things. Y'all, you know, gelatinous meat. But there is salads. So you know that there's salad jello recipes. Oh, no, that wasn't jello. I thought that was jello. Oh, look, Katie. Seafood Salad Supreme in the Jello mold. There you go. There you go, Katie. They didn't forget about you. <laughs> ah, 1950s cooking. Okay. This is an offer up. Oh, I love Spam. Mm. Fried, if it's fried. These are an offer up. Oh, I love these. Okay. So, they're poodles. They are wall-hanging chalkware poodles. We got a boy poodle and a girl poodle. They both have their hangers on the back. They are Miller Studios 1978. They're in excellent condition. I'm going to start these at $30. You do get the set of them. Yeah, they are Miller Studios 1978. And they're in excellent condition. This one has a piece of tape on it. So we'll take that piece of tape off. So I'm starting these at $30. There's no repairs on them. They look like, I mean, that, while it looks like she's got some paint wear, that's the way that it was. It was almost looked like it was hand painted on there. But look at her lashes. The paint is very, very nice on these. You could... Too bad you can't hang one like when they're facing away from each other because they're sick of each other. But you could, they have to be facing one another. So where are we at? Okay, we're at $30. Randy Girl is at $30. Oh, I got a sticker on my nail. Mom and Jay, you're making me hungry. Shelly is at $33. Here is the fella in his little coiffed hair. And here is Randy Girls at 35. Here is the girl. And she's like, Well, hello, hot stuff. And he's like, Hey, what's your name? She's like, I'm not gonna tell you my name. You're just gonna have to, you're gonna have to earn the the right to know my name. Oh, well, I guess I'll wait then because you're so beautiful. Hi, Pamela. Switch hands. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now they can face different ways. Good grief, Misty. Get it together. See, this is... I, I'd almost like to hang him this way. You know? 
because they can be sick of one another. I mean, don't you get, don't you wish you could face the opposite way of your man every once in a while? Yeah. Yeah. 1978 Miller Studios. Now you can face them together or away. They're fun. I keep hearing people talking. Because people come and look in the windows and I, ha I hear their whole conversations. Sometimes I hear people fighting because we're right next door to an attorney's office that does a lot of divorces. And you can hear people fighting. And sometimes I go over there and sit down and listen. I'm not going to lie. All right. People are saying that they're out. Randy Girl is at $60. So I'm going to say last call. You can hang up. Yeah, when you're mad at your other half, you they'll know because you've hung the poodles opposite ways. All right, $60 going once, going twice, and just sold to Randy Heilman for $60. They're super cute. <laughs> yeah, you know, Randy... He, you know, if he, if, if he, if you find a fairy lamp and he's like, you know, Randy, you have enough fairy lamps. You go and you turn those poodles facing the opposite directions and he'll know he said the wrong thing. And then you have to get your drum out, your, your trash can drum and play it around the house just to annoy him even more. <laughs> no, Randy's got a wonderful husband. He, he knows that he needs to keep her happy. And that is a good quality to have. You know how to keep your woman happy. You know, you gotta keep them happy. Because we'll make it not very fun for you to live with if you don't. Okay. Now, this is something, now this does not glow, but I thought it was really pretty. It is Italian glass, and I don't know, like, you know, I'm just, I'm not real, I like, while I like art glass, I don't really know a whole heck of a lot about it. Um, it says an original creation by KB. Oh, the poodles, Emma, were, uh, oh, Emma, the poodles were number 21. The poodles were number 21. You want to see the bottom of it? It is hand blown, has a very sanded down pontil mark. And here's the front of it. It is hand painted. And it has, while it's not, I mean, it's, I don't think it's technically Moriagi, but it's, it's got the bumps on it. You see here on the back, boop, 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 boop. It's very, very pretty. Now the glass itself is an amber colored glass. And then it has this gold um, trim all the way around it with the hand painted flowers. And this little flower is raised up kind of see there anyway a very cute little bud vase and it is $18 and it is number 32 $18 number 32 isn't it fancy it's it's very bohemian kind of like a bohemian style all right Cindy J it's very pretty very pretty I haven't gotten to the yellow vase yet, Ladale. It, I keep calling it a leather, a leather, no, yellow vase, but it's kind of a pitcher. You know what I mean? But, it, but it's not, it wouldn't hold much, you know? Anyway. Next I have, I just like this when I bought it. It is Westmoreland glass and it is a, it's a white milk glass. It is Westmoreland can see there and it has the little feet on it and they almost look like leaves and I tend to really like like an organic um, shape and I like the organic look to it but I don't know I just really liked the shape of it I think this would be very nice in your bathroom to hold soap either like hand soap that you use daily or um, bath bombs or little shaped soaps or you could use it, you know, as a trinket tray. I just thought it was sweet. And it is, it is $12. And it is number 52. It's $12, number 52. 
for the Westmoreland trinket tray, which I think would be nice in a bathroom for soaps and such. All right, I see CLC. CLC. Very nice. I think adding a little bit of color to that would be nice if you had like different colored soaps. Do y'all remember when little shaped soaps was a thing and Avon used to sell a lot of them, the little soaps that were shaped? Okay, this is going to be an offer up. Um, this is something that I think is very beautiful. I'm afraid I'm going to knock you around. And I, I, I have it plugged in. Now, this is a, this is a modern piece. It isn't vintage, but it is this art glass lamp. Let me turn it off so you can kind of see. Um, it's kind of, because when it's lit, it looks more yellow. And it, it's, it, when it's off, it's, it's more green. But it has all these different variations. I'm going to start this at $20. And it does have the bulb on the inside. On the bottom, it's kind of purple. It has a lot of purple colors in it. It is signed on the bottom by um, Marie Alice. And I tried to do a little bit of research and I couldn't find anything. But it does have a modern plug and it does have a switch, which I like. You can turn it on and off and you don't have to like move furniture to, you know, to flip it on and off. I also, it is hand blown. And so I like that it kind of has a walkiness around the top. It's not like perfect, you know, but it's lovely, isn't it? I don't mean to blind you, but it has a modern cord on it. So it's safe. And it does have a little kind of a little indent right here. So the cord fits in there. Um, but it is just really nice. I really liked it. Just like a little accent lamp. That's a very interesting accent lamp. It does have the purples down here. And when it's lit, it does look very yellow, doesn't it? And then when you turn it off, you know, it's more green. So I kind of like that about it too. Um, I am seeing Bonnie. No. I'm seeing Auntie Sash is at 50 $50. It is a little heavy. I, I will say that it is a little heavy. So we are at $50 for Auntie Sash. All of the purples in it. It's very nice. I know. I just kind of saw it and my husband was like, well, that's not, that's not really old. And I said, I know, but it's still neat. Just a nice little art glass accent. All right. So I see Auntie Sash is at 50. So now we would be at $5 increments if we go beyond that. So I'm going to say last call. We are at $50. $50 last call. The next offer up would need to be $55. So $50 going once. $50 going twice. And sold to Auntie Sash for $50. It also reminds me, you, you guys know when you'd go to the bar and you get you a fishbowl? I don't know. That's just where my mind went. But I, as we know, if you have, if you watched the reseller, uh, the Vintage Rescue Squad a couple weeks ago, I cannot do such things anymore. I, I, uh, I, I cannot. Those days are long, long past me. <sighs> All right, the next item is an afghan now this is a really fun and beautiful afghan however it's small i want to say it's more like a little baby size a little child size because it is and i measured it i did i measured it it is 47 inches long and 39 inches wide so it is small but it's so fun Look, and I did wash it. I took it home and I washed it, but it isn't very big. I mean, I'm five foot three and it comes to my neck. So it's not very big. So it's like a lap blanket size, but it has really fun and happy collars. And I know that a lot of people will like say that these are great for people that are, that are in a wheelchair. And I think that these are, this is just a happy, it's just a happy blanket. 
It's really nice and colorful and it has a fr the fringe on each end. It's in excellent condition. It's done very well. Um, I don't know if you, I mean, I guess you probably could use it for a rug. I would slip and fall. So you would have to make sure that you, you know, you have something underneath it, like those little grippy things. But this is $25 and it's number three. I also think it would be nice if you had a, a porch swing. You could fold this and put it on the back of your porch swing and just kind of like toss it on your lap if you're kind of sitting out there on a on a cooler night or on the back of your couch. I see Gia Schaefer. Yeah, I just think that it's fun. And I love this orange and green and all that together. So yeah, just to, it's nice to have like a blanket, a smaller blanket if you if you sit out on your porch a lot. Um, and, the, and it gets a little cooler. You can just kind of grab it and wrap it around you. But I think that it's nice. It You're right. If you work in an office that's always cold in there, you can just kind of, you know, grab something small like that and put it over your lap. My son bought me a heated electric blanket that you plug into your car. That's nice. Okay, I got another poodle. This is a little Kmar, not Kmart, but Kmar poodle. She has her original tag and it says another wild thing by, is it Kmar or Kamar? But it's got the original little sticker. This is Piper. She already comes with a name, Piper. And it says that she is, I am made of love. She's made of love. And it's all new materials, but it's not because it's old. I mean, it's probably from the uh, 70s or so. Let me see. What does it say? It's made in Gardenia, California, made in the USA. This is probably, I would say, probably from the 70s. Look at her little pink. Look at her little pink tootsies. And she's just been to the groomer. She's got this little thing here. So, Randy, you can hang it from a rear view mirror of your car. There, look at that. I could hang from your rear view mirror. Um, but she's like, like plastic. You know, and she's got, let's see, look, see, she's been to the groomer. They've, they've gotten her all trimmed up and everything. But she is $18 and she's number 33. I'm Piper. Hi, 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 hi. Doesn't she look like she's a hyper little thing? She's a hyper little Piper. $18, number 33. <laughs> All right, Shelly Johnson, Huerta, 1960s, next to your dice. Yeah, oh, I just think that she's so, she's so cute. Tortoro hangs from your rear view mirror. I have Forky, you know, Forky. I have a Forky ornament that hangs from my rear view mirror because I like trash. Trash, good trash, bad trash, all kinds of trash. All right, next thing we have okay speaking of mother's day i love this i will be having oh, missy you left the sticker on it again i will have several of these because i have quite a collection growing of them but this is a mother print i love now this is glass it is glass and i love the frame you see how that frame has like a carving on each corner that's a little bit of rubbing right there and right, well, and right there. I don't know. I'll see if I can get that out. It almost looks like green paint. So I wonder if that's supposed to be there because it's kind of all over. Anyway, it, it's a little lithograph and it says, God planned to make the world a gift surpassing every other. And I have found my, I had, and I have had my share in it for I have you, dear mother. So a great thing that you can give to your mom for Mother's Day. It does have a hanger on the back, but isn't that sweet? You could give it. I mean, this is something, instead of flowers, she can hang it on her wall. It's like a card being framed. It does have a little bit of a water stain just right there. Just right there. But this is $18 and it is number 51. Oh, the glare. $18, number 51. It, I mean, I want to keep the frame with it. Normally I say I will like, won't ship it in the frame, but it's original to the, to the print. So I do want to keep it together, but it is $18 number 51. 
think I see, make sure. Norma Jacob, gotcha, Norma Jacob. And I'll see if I can, if that green will come off, but I kind of think that it's, I think I kind of think that it's supposed to be there. All right, here's another blast from the past that I know that you guys, I even had one of these because I grew up going to yard sales and flea markets and stuff. And, you know, I had a jewelry box very similar to this, but, oh, just leave it. Okay. All right, Norma, I will. It is a vintage jewelry box with this lovely blue velvet. I love, I love it. You're like, oh, it's just a white. Bam, it's blue. Kind of reminds me of Liberace a little bit. But it has this kind of velvety, this is purple, and this is blue. But it's a jewelry box. Isn't that nice? Ow, I just pinched my finger. But on the bottom, it has this green velvet kind of backing, and that's a little coming off a little bit. But really, it's in great shape. But yeah, isn't this fun? So this jewelry box is $18, and it is number five. It's like an ivory cream color and it has the white, or not the white, the gold kind of trim all the way around it. Eclectic Treasure Hunter. Yeah, these are great. These are nice big jewelry boxes too. I have a stack of them. Now, I mean, different than this, but there's gonna be jewelry boxes in every sale for the next several weeks because I, I have a lot of them because my dad will go to flea markets and the flea market that he goes to the guy buys jewelry for, and he, you know, does stuff with the silver. I mean, he doesn't do stuff. He sells the silver and stuff, but he doesn't want the jewelry boxes. And so he just gives them to my dad. So I got some over there because he doesn't think that they're anything, but I think they're great. Okay. Next item. These are fun. These are just gold fish. They are salt and pepper shakers. They do not have their corks. They are ceramic. They're ceramic little fish. I think they're very mid-century looking. I think that they just would look neat up on a shelf in a bathroom. I mean, yeah, you could put salt and pepper shakers in your bathroom because they're figurines because we're not going to use them. They're more or less figurines. But these are $14 and they are number 10. $14, number 10. You can kind of see their eyeballs. $14 number 10 for the fish. They're goldfish. Right. Norma Jacob. Oh, put those on top of that jewelry box. Thank you, Norma. There are Liberace shakers. Where is Liberace? Oh, Liberace is over there in where I had my sale on Tuesday. He was in the background over there yesterday. Looks like something Jonathan Adler would have made. Probably. I mean, that kind of stuff is, is, I mean, you couldn't go to, if you go to Target, you would be able to get those for $14. And if you did, they're not going to be as made as well as the older ones are. So that's just my opinion on that. But this book, I love this book. Do you need to teach your children about the wonderful story of how they were born? Well, you can find everything you need to know in this little book. This little book right here. Um, this, well, first of all, what draw, what drew me to this book is just the cover. It's very like, it's a small world. They're like multicultural children. And I like that. Ooh, look, she is not happy and neither is he. But, oh, and here's the backs of their heads. Um, the illustrations are lovely in this. And this is um, the copyright date. The last copyright date is 1959. It's in excellent condition, but it does talk to you about, oh gosh, why? What does he have to do with being born? A clown. Nobody wants to talk to, talk to you, clown. But it does tell you about, you know, baby animals and, you know, about the egg, um, you know, the cycle, all that kind of stuff. Now, I don't think that it goes into like graphic detail. But, you know, we do have the stork. You know. Hi, Yvette, Yvonne. But it's so sweet. Um, 
it, talk, it talks about sperm, you know. It does talk a little bit about that. But, you know, baby cats have... But, you know, you can learn... You can teach your child all about being born, you know, in your own little 1959 way, you know. So this book, it's a hardback book. It's in excellent condition. It is $15 and it's number 46. $15, number 46 for the uh, the wonderful story of how you were born book with the clown in it. What does a clown have to do with that? Toledo Antiques. Got some reading to do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the clown is in there, but the platypus, fine. The clown, why? Why? Why, clown? Why? You don't understand. Ooh, you were a popular book. I, isn't it cool, though? I love it. Hey, squad. Next, we have a cat figurine uh, from... The, it says a souvenir of Riverhead, New York. And the cat's like, yeah, you, you never been to Riverhead, New York? Riverhead, New York's a great place. I've been there a lot. See? It's on my chest. If it would focus. There we go. Riverhead, New York. It's a great place. A cute little tiger cat. A uh, little souvenir. Fun, right? It is no, no chips or flaws on him anywhere. It's $10 and it's number 18. Have you ever been to Riverhead, New York? I've never heard of Riverhead, New York, but this cat knows all about it. Riverhead, New York. <laughs> he got drunk there one weekend and woke up with this tattoo. Maybe. It's happened before. Okay. Angie Gordon. Angie Gordon, you got it. Number 18. Angie, have you ever been to Riverhead, New York? <laughs> All right, next we, okay. This next item was, was given to me by a sweet subscriber. And she, uh, uh, several months ago, we had a, we had a, an auction for another little pink bird of hope. And the picture that I took yesterday was not coming off pink, but I think it's showing up a lot, a lot more pink. She sent me this and I told her that I would do another offer up donation to a cancer, breast cancer research foundation. And I did a little bit of research. I did do it for the Susan G. Komen. This one I'm going to do, it is the Dr. Susan Love Foundation. Um, so I am going to donate 100% of the proceeds for this blue or this pink bird and I'm going to match it. So I'm going to match the amount that is raised for this bird to the um, Dr. Susan Love Foundation. All right. So we're going to start it at $30. And it is signed. It's Handmade Original by Leo Ward, 2003. Boop. It is uh, Terra Studios. So she had sent this and I told her that I would make the donation. It is a pink bird of hope, which is the breast cancer awareness bird that they did special. Um, I see Lynn Combell is at $100. Lynn Combell is at, well, thank you, Virginia. Lynn Combell is at $100 for the pink bird of hope. I think the last one that I had sold was a little bitty one. Okay, LaDonna is at 150. Yeah, the last one was a little bitty one. And I will post a picture of the donation like I did um, for the Susan G. Komen. I can make the donation online. I've researched this and this foundation and I think they said like 95% of the donations do go straight towards the research. and. You know, a lot of the other foundations, they go to pay their staff and this, that, and the other, which is, you know, I know that they have to do, but um, this was, this had a very good review on the, your, where your donation is going. All right. I see Lynn Combell is at 175 Yeah, this is so nice. Thank you, guys. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sally and Susical. Okay, Lucy Van Pelt is at $200. Yeah, 
Yes, if you want to donate by adding a total, you know, $5, whatever, I will include it. Um, just send me an email um, and with a subject line, Pink Bird of Hope. Yeah, absolutely. That's a, And that's what we did last time too. So Lynn is at 225, the Pink Bird of Hope. And I should have, I should have said this, but she's in excellent condition. She doesn't have any, any chips, cracks, or flaws on her. Um, you know what? I don't know, Beth. I, I know that they did them as a special promotion, but I don't know if it's something that they did every year or if they did like so many. This one is from 2003. And I don't know what the date was for the other one. So I, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Okay, Lucy Van Pelt is at 250. Yeah, I've... I, yeah, I, I wanted to do my research a little bit on where I wanted to send the money to this time. You know, a lot of these foundations you hear because they're so advertised and, you know, and I wanted to make sure that um, I'm, I am I wanted to double check where I was going to send the money to. Okay, where are we at? Oh, I'm so sorry, Sara Lee. So we are at $250 and I'm going to say last call. Last call, $250 for Lucy Van Pelt going once, going twice, and sold to Lucy Van Pelt for $250. I will match that. So we are at least going to send $500 to the Dr. Susan Love Foundation for Breast Cancer Research. So thank you so guys. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, I know. I, trust me. I, I'm, I'm, I, I've, I've done my research on it, but thank you. This is so wonderful. So absolutely. This is going to be fun. And if you decided that you wanted to, you know, to make a donation, that's wonderful too. I will um, probably wait until Monday to um, to make the donation just to see if there's anybody else that watches us later that wants to donate something. But we did it a couple of months before and we did, I think it was like $900 that we had sent. So it, it it's a good thing. And I, I want to like do this every once in a while. Maybe we can do it for a different, you know, a different foundation. Um, so I appreciate it. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lucy. Lucy Van Pelt, which I know is in your real name. I know who you are. All right, thank you so much. All right, this makes me happy. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> All right, oh, Liz, bless your heart. All right, next, we have Royal Copley. And I want to say that I have ordered, now I, I'm not gonna lie, I thought they were gonna be a little bit smaller to this. Yes, Beth, you can, um, I can send you my PayPal link where you can do it friends and family. And so there won't be the fee. So yeah, I can, I, I can do that. Um, just, just send me an email and that's probably what I'll end up doing is just sending my PayPal me link. Okay. Since it is a donation, this is Royal Copley, a little bird on a tree or sitting next to a tree. Now this is not real. I know it looks real, doesn't it? I ordered these on Amazon. You get a set of six of them. They're like these little faux air plants. Thought that they were going to be smaller. Thank you, Toledo, again. Thought they were going to be smaller, but they're not. So they do look nice, though, doesn't it? Look, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to water it. And let me tell you, I left my poor baby water plants soaking in their bath of water all night long. All night. So I hope that they're not dead. But I took them out of their water and I said a little apology to them and I gave them a little pep talk and I hope that they're going to be fine by the time I get home. But they, I left them in there. But anyway, you can get these on Amazon. This is Royal Copley. Cute little bird, little chubby bird planter. It's in excellent condition. Um, it is $18 and it is number 27. Thanks, Katie. $18, number 27. I hope so, Cindy. <laughs> I woke up and I saw those and I was like, oh no, my babies. I killed you all. I see Cricket Harrington. 
Yeah, I, I, <laughs> and the thing of it is, my husband wakes up bef <laughs> way before me, and I know he saw them and was like, eh. she killed them all. But he was probably in a little bit of a rush this morning. He tends to do that. He sometimes is in a rush. Okay, good. I hope that they're not dead, but I hope maybe they'll be better. Maybe they'll, they'll, they'll be better. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we're going to do another offer up. Now, this one isn't for charity. This one's just, you know, for, because, you know, I'm going to sell it and you, you may want it. But it is this little Murano bird. I'm going to start it at $20. It is a, now I had one of these before and I just, and I sold it a couple months ago and I found this other one. It does have the Murano glass sticker on the bottom. We're starting it at $20. There, and oddly, there is a hole right there. Now it's, I mean, I don't know if that's where the pontil mark was, but it, there is a hole right there. To me, it seems like that's where a pontel mark was, and it's just left a little hole. But it does have an applied beak, and the tail, I don't think that the tail is applied. I think that that's just a technique that they did. So, this is, it, it's hollow on the inside. It's just sweet. It's a little bluebird, a little Murano glass bluebird, and it has sort of this mica um, on the inside, but it is painted a little bit of gold on the outside. Okay, Liddell is at 125. Hi, Sandra. Sandra, you know, every time I think of you, I'm going to think of ketchup potato chips, right? <laughs> and I posted on Instagram, someone has sent me, and I don't know who it is. Someone from the United Kingdom. I don't know if it was you, Dolores, but someone has sent me um, they're called Walker's Crisps, which are potato chips, and they are Worcestershire sauce, which is very good, and prawn cocktail sauce, which I was a little worried, because I'm like, prawn, isn't that a fish? They're from you? Auntie Sash, okay, well, I knew that you were sending some, but it didn't say. I didn't know who it was from. There was nothing, there was nothing on there. I thought you were sending me ketchup ones. That's where I got confused. <laughs> well, thank you. I love them. And let me tell you, I've already had a bag of each because they came in small bags. I'm right after this. I love potato chips. Okay, where are we at? <laughs> Sorry, I got I got distracted by my love of potato chips. All right, so Liddell is at 125. I am going to, yeah, but I thought there were ketchup ones. I didn't realize that they, they're good. I so I said the Worcestershire is a close second to the ketchup. Okay, Ladale is at 125. I'm gonna say going once, going twice, and sold to Ladale Cole for 125. Thank you, Ladale. Um, and Ladale, I sent you an email too, so I can combine things too. You know, just about the other things that you were that you were wanting. Um, Okay, they they were coming directly from the the UK. Okay, I remember now. I now I did have the prawn ones, the prawn cocktail, and they kind of ri remind me of like a um, sour cream and not sour cream, like a cheat that cheese and sour cream ones, but better. And they were good. I love potato chips. What can I say? Thank you, Ladale. Oh my gosh, we have another offer up. Sorry, Emma. But I have hankies here. I'm going to save my favorite one. You get three hankies. And I'm going to start them at $15. You will get all three of these. Um, this one is a souvenir of Atlantic City, New Jersey. Look at the little, and these are stitched. It's not a patch. They are stitched on there. They're still, the folds are still very crisp and cr on here. I don't think that they've ever been used. And then we have the gateway arch. Again, all stitched, not a, not a patch. They're all stitched. The gateway arch of St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri. Starting is at $15. This one's my favorite. You do get all three of them. 
This one is Hollywood, California with the orange tree and the palm tree and the little director over there. Well, I guess it's just California, but it's, it has Hollywood on there. So you do, oh, and this one has the original stamp that says they are, it has a rolled hem. So you get all of these. So starting it out at $15 for the set of three. Starting them at $15 for the Atlantic City, the St. Louis, Missouri, and California. Ooh, California knows how to party. So we're at $15 and Christine Benson is at $20. Well, thank you, Marianne. I love these shirts, though. I, I do. I like them. I, maybe they're going out of style now, but I do. I like them with the little cutouts. So California and St. Louis, we're at 21. Ooh, they would be great in a quilt, Elaine. And Atlantic City. For the three hankies. They've never been used. So Christine is at... Um, no, Megsy Woodsy is at 24. Now Christine's at 25. Hi, Tree. Hey, you're not, there's still lots to be seen. You didn't miss everything. I do too. I know. They do hide your bat wings. I don't like my arms. My arms is the part of my body that I hate the most. Okay, Janet is at 26. Hi, two, two crazy cats collectibles, a.k.a. meow memorabilia. I do ship to the UK. Yep. I mean, you pay for it, but I do. I will ship there. I will ship there. All right. Where we were at $26 to Janet. So I'm going to say last call, $26. Okay, Christine is at 28 Hi, Lori. So we've got, you get all three of them, California with the Hollywood, the San, uh, San Francisco, the Gateway Arch from St. Louis and Atlantic City. The three vintage hankies. Christine is at 28. $28, I'm going to say last call. I agree, Susical. Last call, $28 going once. Oh, Janet's at 29. Christine's at 30. Christine is at 30 for the set of three. Yes, they did, Tammy. Um, Atlantic City, St. Louis, and Hollywood. So Christine is at 30, $30 going once. Thank you, Janet. $30 going twice and sold to Christine Benson for $30. Sausage roll chips. I don't like sausage though, but you said that they were good. So as long as they don't taste like sausage, Cause I don't like sausage. I'm weird. I don't really eat a lot of, I mean, it's not because I don't think that you should eat meat. I just don't like it. I don't eat a lot. I eat cheese. I eat a lot of cheese. I eat a lot of cheese and chips. The, the two C's, cheese and chips. Dresser scarf, right here it is. Cause you got, like Katie says, you gotta keep your dressers warm. Got to keep your dressers warm. This is a nice little dresser scarf. It doesn't have any flaws on it. It's very springy and, and colorful. I like it. Got like a linen. It doesn't have, it just has like just a rolled hem, I guess. No fringes. It is $10 and it's number 58. $10, number 58 for the dresser scarf. With the needle point on it. I see Lesta Fitzpatrick. Hello, Lesta. Mini sausage dog. 
you're not going to eat those, right? Oh, a lot of people liked you. Dresser scarf. You were a popular dresser scarf. Yes, you are. Let's get you folded again. When, when my sale is over, I go through and I put everything, get everything grouped to get together. So when I come in tomorrow, tomorrow when I do my shipping, there will be no makeup on, no nothing. No nothing on. All right. Speaking of makeup, where did it go? Oh, there you are. It's right here. I have a little ma vintage makeup lot. Oh, bye, Cindy. Oops, sorry, I'm just, I'm moving y'all around. So you get this little box and this box is just, it's just a box wrapped in wrapping paper. There's nothing really special about that box, but you do get these two little jars of Pompeian Bloom. Um, this is, now this one's a little bit, it's got a little bit of some rust on it, you know. Linda, I use Ikea bags. And I put them all in the back of my car and I, I pull up to the back of the post office. So I like, I go and I always feel like I'm not supposed to be there. You know, like every time I pull in there, I'm like, I'm not supposed to be back here. Like you feel, I feel like I'm breaking the law because it's a post office, you know, and that's like federal. But the, the post, my postmaster says, no, you pull around here. And I put everything in a buggy and I push it all up there. And then I ring the bell and they just come out and get it. So it's nice. Because I don't have to, you know. Now, when I just have like a couple bags, I go in and take it. But if I have, you know, sometimes I have eight to ten Ikea bags. And I'm not, I mean, that would take me 15 trips. Um, I think I saw my mom here. Hello, mother. You also get this one. You'll get all of these in this lot. This is Pompeian Beauty Powder. I like the purple. And then you get three tubes of lipstick. Three tubes of lipstick. Now, and the lipstick is still in here. This is Pond's Dither. Ooh, ooh. Get that one. I wouldn't suggest that you use these. This one is Flamme Glow Celebrity Pink. Oh. Now, I know some of you wore this back in the day. That frosted pink in the 60s. Yeah. This one's the prettiest one. Well, the tube is the prettiest one. This is Cutex Soft Coral. Ooh, yee. I don't know how soft that is, but that's that's coral. And then you also get the, now this, this fan broke and I did it. I broke it. I was trying to push it too far gone, but maybe you don't even want it anymore, but it's a little fan. It's probably garbage now, but I just, I broke it. But then you also get this compact. Ooh, and I will empty it out because there's still powder in there. See this comp? It's a blue compact. And you open it up. Um, the mirror is very cloudy. And then, you know, it's got some powder in there. And I will empty that out. But you do get all of these with the tins for $18. And they're number 42. Bye, Angela. $18, number 42 for the whole. We're good. Nothing got broken. Nothing got broke. I didn't break a mirror. Nothing got broken. But let's see. Vintage and Vino. Now, I'm going to, I want to see you with that coral lipstick. No, I don't. Don't use it. Please don't use the lipstick. I will pick up the powder thing. It is fine. Nothing was broken. All right. But some powder fell out of it, but we're going to we're going to clean that out anyway, right? Okay. Those tubes of lipstick. If you look up vintage tubes of lipstick, they're, they're, they go for crazy prices. I was very surprised. What'd you say, Virginia? Tomorrow, my Jersey Santa is arriving. Yay! Yeah, you can model it. Sure can. The coral, the soft coral. All right, next I have this is, and I love this. 
This is the Fiesta Disc Pitcher. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Liddell posted above that the $125 bid wasn't for the glass bird. Okay. Well, I will we'll go back through and and see who um who the highest bid was, and we'll just go with that. So Emma, the blue, the Murano blue bird, can you check on that? Emma's gonna be like, I got ass. Okay, we'll 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 just go with the next person. That was um that wasn't Liddell. All right, the Fiesta. This is vintage. It's got the lowercase f. The disc um, pitcher has the eye slip on it there. I love this color. This color is fantastic. Oh, Mimi saying howdy to Emma. I know, don't you? This is just great. This is an iconic fiesta. A lot of times when even when you see them advertising something, you kind of this is like an iconic fiesta, you know, piece. This is $40 for the Fiesta Disc Planter. It is an absolute beautiful color. I used to, this was in my house and I put yellow faux flowers in it and it was very, very pretty for spring. Yeah, isn't that great? Yeah, I would agree, Katie. Make sure, everyone, let's, before I call the number, if, you, if you're really wanting this, make sure that you are refreshed. I'm not gonna do it as an offer up. I'm gonna tell you the number in a minute, but make sure that you're refreshed because I think that there is a problem with some of the lag. So this, be and there's no chips, cracks, or flaws on it. There is a glazing flaw right there. It's not a chip or crack. It's just where the, okay. Okay, so the Murano bird now goes to Gia Schaefer for $80 if you want it. So Gia, just make sure that you say, yes, I want it. Okay? And if you don't, that's okay. We can just do it again. All right. So this is $40 and it is number four. Okay, Gia does want it. Okay, thank you, Gia. It is $40 and it is number four for the Fiesta Disc Pitcher. I see Samantha Richer. Oh, I love this, it looks so pretty with yellow. Well, look, look. See, oh, isn't that good? I love those two color combinations together. Love it. I'm kind of sad to see that go. I'm not going to lie because I really like that. But I, I, I'm, I need to free up some space. All right, next I have a, uh, this is not also a collection that I'm moving on from. And that is my luster wear. Um, this is a sweet little luster wear vase. It's a little small bud vase with a little bird and flowers on it. Just says made in Japan on the bottom. Oh, I like the orange too, Virginia. Uh, no chips, cracks, or flaws. It is the blue and the sherbet luster. This is $16, and it's number 29. The blue and peach luster. Um, 29. Oh, I froze. I'm sorry. Gina. Gina Berry. Gotcha. I do have another piece of luster that I'm going to sell today. All right. Next, we have... Oh, and what is that? I think I got this. I thought it was just pretty. It's this little pot, and I put one of my little faux um, air plants in there, but it's got this cute little bluebird on there. It's a little pedestal pot, um, and it has little flowers on each side and a little yellow trim at the, at the top. There it is. No um, chips, cracks, or flaws on it. It's looking very left in to me, but I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I think that it's really sweet with that little bird on there. The bird is hand painted on there. Very nice. This is $14 and it's number two. $14. It has a little flower on this side and the bird on that side. $14, number two. I see rag doll sales, which I think is, I know, 
I know, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh! Jean Metlock. Metware. Did I say Jean? <laughs> See? I said it. I said it. I said it. <laughs> Jean. All right, I'm going to put that back in there. But yeah, if you're wanting some, um, like you don't want to mess with real air plants, like you're scared that you're going to forget them, like I did, but you can get some faux air plants on Amazon. You can. Um, ketchup potato chips, I don't, I can't just, they taste like ketchup. I mean, I'm not, I like, I don't obsess over ketchup. I don't put ketchup on weird things. I just put ketchup on my french fries. But they have a, just a really good taste. I don't know. I can't describe it. Like once you start eating them, you can't stop. It's good. All right. Next, I got another little, little, little flower pot. Isn't this fun? It's plastic. I put my, another little air plant in there, but I think it'd look pretty with some like African violets or something in here. This is plastic and it does come apart. So you can, you know, you can clean this out because, you know, if it gets a little bit of lime residue and stuff in it so you can clean it out often um yeah it's very oriental looking isn't it um this says it is made by uh quality molding company chicago illinois oh see i got a partial sticker right there but i will take that off but i love this teal and black together it's very mid-century modern looking this is it's very clean too on the inside it is 16 dollars, and it is number 14. Sixteen dollars, number fourteen. Yeah, I love these colors. You had these, Diane. It's very lightweight. Lusta Fitzpatrick. Um, Sandra, what was the brand that you had sent me? Those were my favorite. What was the brand, Sandra, that you sent me? Old Dutch, I think. I think it's Old Dutch. That that was my favorite. They were better than the Ruffies or the Ruffle ones. I like the old Dutch. Um, okay, next we have an offer up. They are for these two poodles. They are not shakers. Good gracious, Misty. Get it together, girl. I love the sticker. I will take the sticker off of them, but they are not salt and pepper shakers. They are poodles. This one is has a blue back and this one's got a pink back. Um, I'm going to start them at $15. Long neck poodles. Now look, she is snooty and he is clueless. Well, hello. Well, how are you doing? I'm too snooty for you. Okay. I mean, he's just clueless. Very cute. They are marked Japan on the bottom. Let me see. There we go. They are not shakers, they are just figurines. All right, I see Melinda is at 20. Oh yeah, it's a puppet show. I can do a puppet show. Um, do you like ketchup potato chips? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, see, he don't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> I like Sally. Um, I see Shelly is at 23. Shelly is at 23. He's got lashes. She's got lashes, but her eyes are closed. White Barn Thrift is at 25. They are hollow on the inside. Ceramic pink and blue poodles. Like the poodle in the dog, Go Dog Go book. Oh, yeah. Shelly is at 30. Oh, no, my camera's gotten pixelated. Sometimes that happens when I move really quick, which, I, I mean, most situations I do, but it's not some. I do move very sloth-like when I want to, when I'm having a lazy day. Do you like my hat? No, I do not like your hat. I love reading Dr. Seuss books out loud because you can, you can, just animate them so much and the writing is so brilliant in the words that he uses. I just, I love it. I love it. All right. We are at $32 for Cindy Tunstall. I think 
Did I get that right? Yes. $32. Cindy Tunstall. Shelly is at $35. I do not like ketchup potato chips. All right. <laughs> you don't care. I know. I love. Now, green eggs and ham would be something that we would read for Dr. Seuss's birthday. We would have green eggs and ham. And the kids were always grossed out, but they ended up liking it. And it's just food coloring. It's not like it, you know, that's all it was. But yeah, I love reading Dr. Seuss books. All right. Shelly is at $38 and White Barn Thrift is out. I'm going to call last call. Last call. $38 going once. $38 going twice and sold to Shelly for $38. Thank you, Shelly. Um, gotta go keep the sound down because of the hang hangful gerb. Because of the gerb. I don't like the gerbs. I mean, I like my gerb now, but I, I mean, I, I don't know. I just like it better now. I like it better now. All right. Next, I have a tulip glass, and I put a little um, helper in here just to show that this is just a single glass all by itself. There's only one of them, but you don't have to use it for a glass. You can use it to put other things in. You know, you can, you can do that with it. It is frosted glass with these tulips. I think those are, maybe they're not tulips, they're flowers, but it's very deco looking with those lines on there. It's frosted glass, do not know who it's made by. This is almost like, on, I want to say on, an on the rocks glass. I don't know, because it's very thick and chunky. But this is $12 and it's number 38. Yeah, you could use this like for your toothbrushing cup. $12, number 38. Poppies. They could be poppies. Yeah, everyone's saying that they're poppies. Yeah, it would look pretty with a candle in here, too, The because um, of the frosted glass. I see Tatum's Farm Stand and Vintage Shop. And it, it's a frosted glass. I skin I want a bathtub of frosted glass. Just It's a great feel. I don't want to put water in it. Okay, these are just fun and bizarre. They are skunks. They are salt and pepper shakers. But they're big. Look at their eyebrows. And they're so angry. Arr! They don't have, well, they do have their stoppers, but they're floating around. You can make them into a magic wand, a skunk magic wand. They, um, their stoppers are floating around in there, but they have lots of crazing on them. And I don't quite know if that was a purposeful thing. I don't know, but there they are. You see that? Aren't they weird? I think that they're skunks, right? Skunks. Okay. So here they are. They are salt and pepper shakers. You, you know, shake the salt out of their heads. Now I have seen these long ones that had it on both ends where, you know, this would be one shaker and that the head would be the other shaker, but not these guys. You get both of them, obviously, for... Uh, $16 and they're number 22. The Long Skunk Shakers. $16, number 22. Yeah, that has to be deliberate. deliberate. I mean, they're vintage, but I think it's just, yeah, they could be weapons. What? Get out of my house. I will hit you with my skunk wand. $16, number 22. <laughs> For the... Pepe Le Pew. Oh, ha, ha. Skulls. Very bizarre. Just add, oh, add grape jelly in the eggs. A ferret skunk. Yeah. Polecats. <laughs> Polecats. All right. We'll put them aside. They're odd. I know. But we'll put them aside. We can use them for a puppet show later on. All right. Oh, I didn't know that they sold. White Barn Thrift. I didn't see that. Sorry. White Barn Thrift are getting the cat poles. Cat poles. 
All right, next I've got the sweet little bear planter that I believe is American bisque. Now, a bear puppy pig. I don't know. It's 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 got a couple different things going on here. Looks like a puppy, has a body of a pig, but kind of looks like a bear. So it could be whatever you would want. I believe that it is American bisque. Um, on the inside, it's got, I think someone put, I don't know if they kept their pens in there, but that looks like ink. Okay, Virginia's saying that's puppy. Hi, Sean. I don't know. It's kind of, it doesn't have a pig nose, but it's got a pig body. I don't know. We're going to say it's a puppy. I like, I like that it's a puppy. It's a sleeping puppy. But this is $18 and it is number 19. $18 number 19 for the little puppy planter. I think it's a puppy. CLC. Gotcha. CLC. All right. Next, I have, this is a sweet little heart trinket box. And surprisingly enough, I double checked and triple checked this and none of the petals are broken and it has very pastel pinks, yellows, blues on the lid. No, no chips on it at all. Here's the bottom of the box itself. Um, it is porcelain and it says that it is uh, Ardalt Japan. Very thin. I sold it yesterday, Beth. I sold it yesterday. But here it is. It's a sweet little trinket dish. It is $16 and it's number 20. It's very hard to find these that, that there's not a petal or something that's chipped or broken in it. Like I found that Capodimonte candlestick holder and I was shocked that it wasn't chipped at all either. But $16, number 20 for the heart ketchup dish. Sean Christine Jones. Gotcha. So very, very cute. Very sweet. Okay. These are going to be an offer up. I'm starting them at $40. I'm starting them at $40. They are the, now you get both of them. You get the two poodle lamps. They do work. Um, they are dated 1956 Flare. They do not have shades. I don't know what shades that they originally had. You will get both of them. They are in excellent condition. I guess I could unwrap the cord on at least one of them so you can see their whole body. Well, there we go. They are poodles, flare, 1956, little bedside lamps. You will get both of them. And, and we're, and I starting them at, we are at, we are at $40. No, the price does not include, the shipping is an additional cost. So we are at $40. Okay, now we're at 50, Cindy is at 50. <gasps> You heard Jordan say my name the other day. Oh, I love Jordan. Probably because I'm a, a Patreon member. That's probably why. Because I'm, a, I'm a, one of his Patreon members. Because I know that he says thank you to so and so and so. I love his channel. So I'm i fully I'm fully happy to support him on Patreon. Okay, so Shelly is at 55. I love Jordan. Days Days with Jordan the Lion. Um, it's if you, if he's not thrifting or anything. I mean, he does go to antique malls. Every he has been to um, antique malls, but his his content is really good. I mean, he's very respectful of the places that he goes. He does travel vlogs and stuff. So if you're not subscribed to him, I think he's close to maybe two or three hundred thousand subscribers. But days with days with Jordan the Lion. I've been watching a lot of his. Um, older videos and he was so excited when he had like his first 100 subscribers and stuff it's just sweet and he's just grown so much yes i he does the marilyn monroe videos and the joan crawford videos and um liberace he did one liberace at his las vegas house it's just i don't know he's 
it isn't thrifting or anything like that. It's just like a travel, it's a, a travel video. He's a travel vlogger and he just bought a house and you know, I don't know. He's just, a, he's just a neat guy. Jordan, days with Jordan the lion and jaw his dog. Oh my gosh. He's got the precious little baby dog. All right. I think we are at Cindy, Cindy, no, Shelly or no, Sally. Sally Velez is at 65. Now Cindy is at 67. I know. Oh, Virginia, I didn't know that you liked him too. I think that's cool. Days with Jordan. And it's D-A-Z-E. D-A-Z-E. Uh, Sally is at 68. Yeah, I love Jaw. And Jaw is part Chihuahua, part Jack Russell Terrier. Because he did a DNA test. And he's just a good dog. He never barks. It's, he's just a great, it's, it's just really good con. My husband will, my husband does not watch very many YouTube content with me, but he does like watching um, Jordan's videos. Okay, I wish this chat would just, oh, he's at 197,000. He should be over that because he's great. Yeah, he's fun, Katie. I think you'll like him. So Cindy is at 69. Really? Sandra said if you are in England and you ask for mayonnaise on your hamburgers, they'll be like, that's how it is when you go, like, I've gone up to Chicago and you can ask for sweet tea. And they're like, we don't do sweet tea. Go back to the South. Yeah, you don't do sweet tea. Um, 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 Sally is at 70 for the pair of Flair 1956 Pudas, the Puda Schnudas. They do work. They're in excellent condition. They're my little friends on my shoulders. Do, 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 do. You know what I like to do? I like to mix mayonnaise with ketchup. Yeah, that's not a Chicago accent. No, in Chicago, they don't drink sweet. If you ask for sweet tea. Of course, I was at, um, do you guys remember um, Ed DeBevix in Chicago? where They were not very nice to you. They're like, sweet tea. They were like making fun of me. Poodle Schnoodle Lamps. Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, Sally Velez is at $70, last call. $70, last call for the pair of lamps. So $70 going once. $70 going twice. And sold to Sally Velez for $70 for the Poodle Schnoodles. We have mayo chips in Canada. Mmm. I need to try those. I like mayonnaise. Some people just, it just makes them want to throw up, but I like mayonnaise. Whoops. Mayonnaise on a tenderloin. Mmm. 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 Tenderloin. That's, maybe that's an Indiana thing. I don't know. All right. Next, I've got this uranium glass juice reamer. Um, I. I don't know who made this. It doesn't say. I want to say it's Anchor Hawking, but I, I don't know for sure. It does glow. It is uranium. There are no chips, cracks, or flaws on it anywhere. I like that it has this nice, you know, vintage design here all the way around it. Emma actually found this. Emma found this for me at a flea market, but there's no chips, cracks, or flaws on it anywhere. It is $28, and it is number six. Yeah, I'm going to say it's Hazel Axis. Well, hello, Jamie. The Uranium Glass Juice Reamer, $28, number six. I see Marianne Zaccarelli. I like mustard on a tenderloin too, but I like mayonnaise better. But I also like cheese on a tenderloin. Why are we, we're always talking about food on my channel. <laughs> always, always. Okay, this is really sweet. Um, it is the pillowcase. It doesn't come with any of the stuffing or anything like that. But it is a green. I love this vintage green. Loosely shaped like a heart. I mean, it's supposed to be heart shaped. But it has this hand needle point on there of a basket. I love this color green. The lace is green itself. It does have um, on the side here where you can put the stuffing in. Or I don't know if you would have a... A, um, 
It does. I know. Gia, when I held it up, I thought, that looks like a toilet seat cover. I thought the same thing, but it's not. It's a heart. If you put the stuffing in it, it would make sense. But this is $14, and it is number 60. $14, number 60. It's in excellent condition. There's no stains on it anywhere. It's very sweet. $14, number 60. 60. It is not a toilet seat cover, but that's where my mind went to when I held it up. Cheese curds, Yvonne! Leanne Say, you got it. Cheese curds are so good. Yum. Freddy's has great cheese curds with you, and you dip them into the Freddy's sauce. Yum. Yum. All right, next I have a tablecloth, and I measured this one too. I measured two things. It is this. Now, this is an excellent condition. Does it have, um, well, man, I think it had, is it this one? No, there's no holes on this. A couple little tea stains, but not that, I have not treated it though. But it has these butterflies and flowers and this really cool retro color. It does go all the way around and then the center is white. And it is 68 inches long and 54 inches wide. 54 inch, no, 68 inches long and 54 inches wide. Really fun colors with that teal and red and yellow. This is $18, um, 68 by 54, $18 and it is number 56. Oh, me too, Yvonne. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, everyone bring appetizers to the next sale. $18, number 56. I see Cranky Lady Vintage. Yeah, everybody, we bring snacks. You know, flipping and sipping on Friday nights on Fat Bird Finds, they, they drink. We should just eat chips and cheese. Chips and cheese. It's pretty much what my diet is. It's how I stay so fit and trim. Chips, cheese, and Mountain Dew. That's horrible. Gosh, I'm embarrassed to even say that, but no. Oh, at least it's not crack or anything like that. You know, it's not, you know, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing crack. So at least there's that. All right. The lime green planter. I love this. Isn't this fun? Look at that. It's a little drip glaze lime green planter. Looks like a bean. Looks like a lima bean, right? Looks like a lima bean. This is, I believe is, it's California Pottery, USA. Isn't that cute? Barb, did you see that Dots has um, cheese, uh, like Cheetos now? It's a pea in a pot bowl. Isn't it cute? This is $16 and it's number 15. I love that drip glaze on there. Mm, 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 mm. I know I say that all the time too. What? Cause Mark gets on me. I wish you wouldn't drink so much pop. Well, at least I'm not doing crack. <laughs> I say that to him all the time. I see, uh, anti sash, and he's like, "Well, that's just that's just great." Well, it's true. It could be doing a lot of worse things. I like my Mountain Dew. It makes me happy. Leave me alone. I'm healthy. I go to the doctor. All right, offer up. And that is going to be this blue bird of happiness. I am starting it at $15. And I'm trying to speed up a little bit if you haven't told, because I, I, I think I'm dragging on. This is, oh my gosh. I believe it is Ron Roy Ray. It's either Roy Ray or Ron Ray. And I can't see the date. But it is either Roy or Ron Ray, Bluebird of Happiness. Oh, gosh. Okay, I think Sean Christine Jones is at 30. And again, when you see these out, make sure that you check their little beaks because if, if it feels very rough, then it's, then it's got a chip on it. So make sure that you do check that because, um, you know, it will affect the value. This one does not have any chip on, chips on it as well. A little soda never hurt anyone. That's... That's right, Katie. So Elaine is at 50. I see a lot of outs. Okay. Elaine is at 50 for the 
uh, Ron, Ron, that's Ron Ray, Bluebird of Happiness. Um, they, they, I believe that they should be signed. I believe that it, that it, that they should be signed. And that doesn't mean that it's a repro. It just means it's by somebody else. It's not from Terra Studios. All right. So $50 going once. $50 going twice. Sold to Elaine Lenny. For $50. Yeah. Oh, they're, I, yeah, usually they are signed. Yep. Yep. W Diane, when did he go, when did he form his own? When did he form his own company? Oh, Jamie. When I was a child, I used to like to eat Velveeta cheese. Well, I don't think I could now. Did anybody else ever hack into some good Velveeta cheese? I don't think I, I don't really like Velveeta cheese. Just to eat it. It's good for melting to make macaroni and cheese and stuff. But all right, next I have a tea towel lot. Now one of the tea towels is vintage, and that is this one. It is the vintage poodle cleaning. She's a poodle, like a good poodle should. She's clean. Maybe she had a little mess on the floor. She's got her little cleaning rag on. She's been, just been to the groomer and she's, you know, she's cleaning up after a mess. So this is a tea towel. This one is vintage. These are vintage inspired. So they're not, they're not vintage tea towels, but they're vintage inspired. And it has this little dog that has a little, his dog leash in his mouth. And it's saying, can we go? He's wanting to go for a walk. And then this one is in the dog house. So, Randy, you could get this for your husband, and when he doesn't get you your fairy lamp, you, you hang this towel on your stove, and he'll know. You know, you could hang the poodles going opposite ways. He's in the doghouse. <laughs> so, these two are modern, but they're, very, they're vintage inspired. And then this poodle one is vintage. You do get all three of them for $20, and they are number 54. $20 for all three of them, and they're number 54. Ooh, a pickle. I've never had a pickle on a grilled cheese sandwich. That might be really good. I like pickles. You can buy little. I know, and I did, Susical. I did. and But then I got home, and I'm like, I already have a big box of it. I don't know. Bobby Marcantonio. Bobby Marcantonio. Tiger, I need to do a haul on something because I bought something that I'm sending to you. It's sent over there. I need to do the haul for it, but I gotta send it to you. Okay, now we're doing another offer up. I'm gonna start it at $20, and it is this blue Tanala. Pigeon? Pigeon. Ooh, Velveeta and cream of mushroom soup melted together is a good dip. Well, I think we all have that in our cabinets right now. Velveeta and cream of mushroom soup. We should all try it. So this is starting it at $20. It is blue, a blue Tanala pigeon bird. Um, he has a little bit of rubbing there on his beak, but he's got something floating around. He's not broken anywhere. And Emma and I both looked at this and it's like a, it's like a plug. <laughs> It's like his plug is stuck up in here. Up, up, in, up, 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 His plug is stuck up in his body. So that's weird. He does have a little, a little boo-boo right there, a little rubbing right there, but he's blue. He is marked Mexico on the bottom. There he is, but see, you hear that? He's got a little, little, little rock. His plug, it's his plug, because when you, you can see that it's blue. It's got the blue glaze on it. It's bizarre. I don't know why he didn't come out, but okay. I'm seeing people say that we are out. So I'm seeing Gia Schaefer at 30. Gia Schaefer at 30. Now Lynn is at 33. He does. That Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus is another book that I like to read to children because you can be like, 
You let him drive the bus again. That and Elephant and Piggy books. Those are my favorite books to read to young children. It's a hidden treasure. Um, the Bluebirds of Happiness, not perfect, were seconds, were sold at Terra Studio, not signed for cheap. Oh, okay, Diane, that's great to know. Oh, you're vacationing from Mexico and you're watching my sale? Girl. All right, Andrea Kane is at, well, thank you, by the way, but Andrea Kane is at 35. Cream of mushroom soup and canned diced tomatoes. I'm going to have to go home and make this. Because I like to just have dip for dinner. Does anybody else do that? Like, my husband wants, like, meat and, you know, he wants, like, something. And I'm like, um, appetizers. Let's just have buffalo chicken dip or chips and salsa. That's fine, right? No, not for them. <laughs> Mexican bluebird of happiness. All right, I see, uh, I see a lot of people say now. So Andrea and Kane is at 35. I'm going to say last call, we're at $35. $35 going once. $35 going twice and sold. I can't even remember who, who bought it. It was Andrea Kane for $35. I think that it's appropriate as well, but my husband doesn't agree. He likes to have like a meal, you know, like meat and potatoes. And I'm okay. I am okay with not. I can have cereal or, you know, popcorn. All right, next I have this. I like this and I don't know, I don't know the story about this. I don't know what i mean it's a beaker i do know that it is a beaker look at the shape of it it's like triangular it has the numbers are all etched she could see that better okay can you kind of see how the numbers are etched in the glass so they're not painted on they're etched in the glass and then on the bottom here, it's just got a weird bottom. Like maybe it was supposed to, maybe it was supposed to be on something. I don't, I don't know. But it does have the spout here. I kind of think it would be cute to use as a vase. I like that it has this old script of numbers on it. And it has the lines that go all the way around it. This is $20. Um, well, it says, I think it's, well, I don't know. I don't, this is not 12 cups, but the highest number is 12. It's an old pharmaceutical measuring beaker. I don't know. This is not, I don't, that's not 12 cups, but anyway, it is $20 and it's number 39. I do have lots more beakers that will be coming. This one was my favorite one though, because I liked that the, had the etching in the glass. I really like that part of it, but uh, $20, number 39. Oh, maybe ounces. Okay, I see Elm Street Odds and Ends Linda for number 39. I'm gonna put that upside down because I'm always scared that I'm gonna knock it over. All right, next we have some canisters. We have the set of Chromex canisters you will get the flower bye jamie spun aluminum is what this is the sugar they do mess so that it makes them easier to ship and the coffee now the coffee has like the white paint has rubbed off of it but does not have the tea nor the grease, but they are Chromex. They say on the bottom of the big one, but inside the lid, you can see there that it says Chromex there as well. But you do get the, th the set of three Chromex canisters for $25, they're number 41. $25, number 41 for the set of three Chromex spun aluminum canisters. 
I see Norma Jacob. Thank you, Julia. Yeah, Walmart had all their bandanas of all different colors. I bought a lot of them. Oh, I know a secret book. I know a secret. This girl, this boy knows a secret and he's gonna hide it from that girl. It's easy growth in reading. Um, it does, Eric and Heidi Schneider wrote their name on the inside of it. The Davis Family. And this has really nice colorful graphics in it. It is copyright date 1957. It is a reader, but my goodness, look at these pictures. Aren't they fun? A birthday. Anne's birthday at the store. Um, there was one. Snow, snow. I always look in these readers to see if there's any holiday. I don't think that there's a holiday one in this book. I mean, other than the birthday. Oh, but wait. Oh, there's a clown. We don't care about that. There is Easter. Easter morning. And then there was their, they get in their Easter baskets. There was a clown here, but we're not going to look at him. Um, this is $18 and it's number 37. I just think the book is like, it kind of reminds me of something that would be on Saturday Night Live, like a skit on Saturday Night Live. Like, I know a secret. I don't know why. That's just where my mind went. It is $18, number 37, for the I Know a Secret book. Maybe it's the box behind his back. You know what I'm talking about? You know that skit on uh, Saturday Night Live? I'm, we're not going to talk about it, but you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Because he's got his box right there behind his back. Okay, I Know a Secret book with beautiful illustrations it is $18, and it is number 37. Number 37 block of cream cheese and mix it with that three golden Italian. Man, I'm going to have to try some of these dips. They're sounding so good. All right. Next, I have a uranium glass sugar bowl. It does glow. I do believe that this is um, Hazel Atlas. I'm going to, I'm going to take a guess there. Um, the, 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 Bad thing about this is that it has a chip right there on the rim that I didn't know when I bought it, but it's there. Always check your rims, kids. Check your rims. But it has a little chip on the bottom of it that's on that side. But, you know, you can turn around the other way, right? This is $12 because of the chip, an open sugar bowl, $12, and it is number 24. $12, number 24. Another thing that you can do with these is to flip them upside down and you can use it as a riser. I see Cindy Tunstall. Yeah, you know, you can use it as a riser and, you know, put something on that way. You could actually put another uranium glass piece on the top of it. All right. Now I've got this other piece of lusterware with this geometric pattern on it. This one is marked made in Japan. Made in Japan. Oh, check again. Wrong number. Oh, number 24. Sold to Elm Street Odds and Ends. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. All right, this is a piece of lusterware with this kind of fun geometric pattern on it. Peach luster down here on the bottom. Did I say it right? A lot of people do. A lot of people will buy uranium um, lights. You can actually tack them in your display cabinet and turn them on and it makes them glow. You see them lot, lot, like that a lot in antique malls too. This is $8 and it's number 49. No chips or cracks on it. $8, number 49. Would look nice with an air plant in it. I see Sally Velez. Sally, Sally. 
Hey, we're getting there, guys. Greeks. This is just fun. Look at this hot pad. I think this that's what this, I think it is a hot pad. So you can use it to put a hot pot on. Um, but it has a little hook right here where you can hang it. And I believe it's made out of um, bottle caps. I believe. That's what it looks like to me. But look at that. Look how it's all sewn together. Isn't that fun? I don't know. I just think that it's neat. Very neat. It is $14 and it is number 59. $14, number 59. It's very kitschy and fun. Little bottle cap, great hot pad. $14, number 59. Oh, I know, I know. I was thinking about that same too. I'm gonna have to go back and, and check on all these dip recipes because they're sounding very, very good. I've never even thought about some of these combinations, but now that I'm thinking about it, they sound pretty good. I wish I had the kind of mind that could just think, could like cook, cook that way. You know what I mean? Like could think that they could blend in a bunch of different things and it would actually taste good. I don't have that mind. All right. I've got Scotty dogs here that don't match. They don't necessarily match, but I'm going to sell them together because they just kind of look like they need each other. So there is this little Scotty dog. He was so frowny. Look at that. His little eyes. And then there's his little buddy who has gold trim. They are ceramic. Aren't they cute? Oh, Cindy Tunstall. Cindy Tunstall, were you wanting the I Know a Secret book? Was that number 20? Just, just clarify. Number 37 was the I Want a Secret book. So let me know, Cindy, if that's what you were wanting. Yeah, they're little friends for life. I kind of thought so too. Thank you, Cindy B. So you get both of these for $16 and they are number 44. They are vintage, little black Scotties. $16, number 44. Auntie Sash. I agree, Yvonne. Chips and dip for life. Mm. There's just something about it. It's like that saltiness and the savoriness. Although I do like me a sweet dip too. There's a dip that I think it's, you can dip graham crackers in. That's really good. Uh, okay, Cindy, Cindy Tunstall, Emma, wants number 37. Cindy Tunstall. Do you, just let me know that you got that, Emma. Okay. Uh, oh, the grapes were number 59. They were $14, number 59. Peach salsa is amazing too. Mm, that does sound good. Grapes are $14, number 59 for the grape hot. Okay, so Denise Overbay wants the grapes. Emma. Um, You know what? Those cat pictures are going to be for sale very soon in a live sale because I've, I've, I got a new, a new sign coming from Little Red Porch. I'm so excited about. It is um, the same lady that does my heart, the heart paintings. She's making me a new sign that I'm going to hang there. So I'm going to sell those two cruel cats. Maybe there'll be a next week's sale. One of them will be a next week's sale. I might do them the next couple weeks but all right i got a lo pillowcase lot you do get two pillowcases in here they are standard size pillowcases and now the, they are not vintage they they aren't vintage um because well because i say 2010 you can unstitch that if you don't want it to say 2010 but here they are they're white pillowcases and someone has um, made this little floral design on both of them. However, there is this one. They've never been used either. They're brand new. And then this one's a little bit different. 
I like this one. I like this bright color. So they're, you get both of them. They are different. They are different. They're in excellent condition. They've never been used. Um, they are $16 for the pair and they're number 57. Yeah, they are great for summer. And you can take, this one has an initial KW. You can take a seam ripper and you can get the, the date and that initial off. Really easy to do. $16, number 57. I see LEA. Oh, and you know what the best part? The best part about these is that they're a percale fabric. You can't hardly find percale sheets. I love percale. That is, I love me a good set of percale sheets. They wash up nice. They don't wrinkle up. They're hard to find. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Okay. This is going to be an offer up. I love this so much. Um, did I sell the two? Yes, I did. I did. I did sell them. This is a lot. I'm doing an offer up. I'm starting it at $20. Okay. $20. And it is a date book. Date and address book locked. So they are just, a lot of them haven't been used. So this is a, like a graph paper book. It doesn't say anything anywhere. You have an engineer in your family? Give them a, they can keep that in their pocket. Um, so like this one is from March, 1958. It's from an insurance agency. I'm starting it at $20. This is a vintage um, book, uh, bank book register. Um, this, one's the, this one's the newest one. It's February 1983. It's just a little desk calendar from another insurance agency. Um, this one is uh, just, a, it's a very Art Deco um, cover for a, insurance agency and so is that one this one's 1970 that one doesn't have a date oh but look at look at this the norcross blue book calendar 1958 look at the little cats and it is a calendar but look look at that it's got santa and every page has these beautiful little illustration that one is november We've got a retro Halloween. This little booklet is my favorite in the whole thing. And there's Mother's Day. So great ephemera in here. This is a pocket atlas. We have a date book from 1966. Are there any pictures in here? No. We have a memory calendar for 1957. Look at the little lady with her parasol and her cat there this one doesn't have any illustrations but they've never been used um here's a little memo book from general binding corporation an address book with addresses in it here is another little pocket this is the common sense reminder um to remind a, a reminder with a conscience so these are like little, like you would tear out these little reminder things, okay? This one is, says 7-Up. She wrote her, her grocery list. 7-Up, bacon, orange, lemons, chocolate pudding, cottage cheese, and grapes. Sounds like my kind of a diet. I don't eat all those things. We have a little pocket memory book. This is New Harmony National Bank from New Harmony, Indiana. It's an old bank register. Um, you have an Ashland address book, I think. Yeah, little address book. This is a guide to physical fitness by Hallmark. That's a little odd. I meant to look through this too, but I didn't. Isometric exercises. Different kinds of exercises. Oh, I didn't look through it. Um, this little address book. Indiana Farm Bureau address book. This one's dated 1951. And then we have a metric conversion scale. I just threw that in there. 
And then these are little notepads from calendar notepads. They don't say the date, but there's Trinidad, Bolivia, Indonesia, and Switzerland. So you get all of these little address books and date books. Just fun little bits and pieces of ephemera. I love that little kitty cat one. But you get all of these. Where are we at? Okay, Sally is at $30. So $30 for the entire lot of date books. Yeah, their condition is amazing in these. They've never been used. So Susan K is at 32. This one is the best out of all of them. Where are you at? Where did you go, little booklet? Oh my gosh, where'd you go? I don't know. You don't want to see my head bending down. You can do get all of these. Susan <coughs> Susan K is at 32. Last note, the crafty hedgehog is at 35. These are really nice to you. Oh, here you are. Really nice to use if you are doing paper crafts. This one is is just so good with the the Norcross. <gasps> Look at the bunny. Susan K is at 36. Then we had Mother. We had June is the bride. Okay, we are at Oh, I know the Norcross one is the best one. Um Sally is at 40. We've got July, their Independence Day. They're going in their jalopy on vacation. This one is Norcross Blue Book Calendar 1958. It's a pocket calendar. It's it's never been used. It's in excellent condition. But again, the best part is for me, I'll look at the school, the September one. This one's my favorite is the Halloween. Look at how retro they are. And then we have the Thanksgiving kitty cats and the Christmas one. The Santa is pretty, is pretty fabulous too. Okay, where were we at? We are at $40. I'm gonna say last call. Oh, look, this one has a little stand where you could stand it up in the back. $40, last call. $40 going once, $40 going twice, and sold to the Crafty Hedgehog, Sally. And these were number 45. Yeah, I love that one. When I saw that one, I did a little bit of a happy dance because it's just neat to look at. One with all the graphics on the inside. Thank you, Sally. Um, next I have a table topper. This is one that had a little bitty, a little bitty hole in it right there. Now I didn't measure this one, but it is a table topper. It does have a little hole there and a few little, uh, tea stains. I liked the black contrast with the, um, the yellow trim. This is $14. Ooh. $14 and it is number 55. $14, number 55. Hi, Cindy. $14, number 55 for the vintage table topper. I like that black contrast in there. Why do my comments keep disappearing? I wish I had the patience to do a junk journal. I just don't. I, I just know I don't have time for it. So I, I just, I won't do it. $14, number 55. All right, we're getting there. I'm surprised I haven't even drawn that one thing yet. All right, this is an offer up. It is for this yellow art glass. I kept calling it a vase, but it's like a pitcher, you know? Um, it is nothing is applied on here this is actually oh we're starting this at twenty dollars uh tam's already at 55 i think i just want to make sure now we're, we're we're starting this 
I don't know, Tam, I don't know if that was, if she was looking at the other one or not, but I'm starting, I'm going to start this one at uh, $30 and it has kind of this end of day swirly look in it. This does not glow. It does not glow. I wish that it did, but it does not. No colors in this does, does glow. Um, can I hold this up to the yellow lamp? The fairy lamp? We haven't gotten to the fairy lamp yet. But yeah, I'll hold it up to it. Yellow, yellow. That's coming soon. I haven't drew, drawn it yet. Oh, oh, number 55. That's what she was doing. I'm sorry, I got confused. So number 55 goes to the dress or scarf. Okay, gotcha. This is, we're starting this at $30, the glass lamp. Oh, this one. And I'll turn it on. See? They do look very similar, don't they? This is the one that I thought reminded me of Rainbow Bright. I, I don't know if it's the, because it's yellow and then it just has kind of like a this rainbow effect, but I like the shape of it. It is original Lucian glass. There you go. Okay, anti-sash is at 35. The handle here is curved, so it was it was blown or when it was molded, when it was warm, molded back. And it has this really kind of funny like teardrop tip to it. But it's very pretty. And we are at $40. Yeah, doesn't it look it reminds me of Rainbow Bright. I like the lines in it. It's got kind of like some veining in it there, some veining in it everywhere. So $45. It is made in Japan though. It has a Japan sticker on it. The Pontil mark is sanded down very nicely. Lu Chin. Lu Tension. Tension. I don't know. I'm going to pronounce it wrong all the time. Pam, I always do. I can't ever pronounce anything the right way. I always say it wrong. Do you know how long it took me to say Otagiri right? Long time. It took me a long time to say that word right. Okay, so we were at... Auntie Sash is at $45. So I'm going to say last call for the yellow art glass rainbow bright base. Words are hard. So $45 going once. I think, did I say, oh yeah. $45 going twice and sold to Auntie Sash for $45. Ugh, it's so I, I have, I have found several Rainbow Brights and they, they sell pretty well. That's the kind of thing, those are the kinds of toys that you need to kind of look out for because it's people that are my age that are looking for things that they played with in their childhood. My Little Ponies, Rainbow Bright, Strawberry Shortcakes, that kind of thing. Ode to Gary. I know I used to call it, um, I don't remember what I called it, but it wasn't, it wasn't Otagiri. Okay. I have these tulip canisters and I'm going, I'm just going to say that they are, oh, and Punky Brewster. I had a Punky Brewster doll. I, I remember very vividly. These are heavy. I'm just going to throw that out there. Oh, Misty. Maybe I should take the lid off. Well, let me just show you this way. They are a set of three of these tulip they are made by Knoll. They're Knoll's Utility Wear. I'll show you the bottom. Made in the USA. They are now they have beautiful crazing and, and some of that like discoloration that I like. But they have these tulip. They are hand painted. They're not a decal. The lid on the biggest. Now, this is the biggest one. The underside of the lid has a little chip right there. These are very 1930s 
here is the middle size one. Knowles Utility Wear. Let me just double check that. This one has a very, the lid is very nice. This one's my favorite one is the little baby one. Aren't these really pretty? The little one is in the best shape. Um, it doesn't have a, as much of the crazing as the other two do. But the way that I, I'm going to try to do this, guys. Wish me luck. They do nest so you can stack them in your display like this. The tulips are an orange color. They might be coming off a little red, but they are an orange color. But they're they're beautiful. They're in excellent condition. They're just they're just really nice. I do like them stacked like that. You get all of them. They are a bit heavy though. I will say, um, you get all of them for forty dollars, and they're number twelve. The set of three of the Knowles um, utility wear. $40 for all three of them, number 12. I see Denise King. Now, I will say too, Denise, when I, I, I don't know if I'm going to ship, I probably won't ship them that way. But if you're wanting to store them, they do nest inside one another. Um, I'll show you. I won't ship them that way because I'm too worried that they're going to bang together. But see, all of them are inside. So they do all fit inside the big one. So um, if you just want to display them, you know, seasonally, you can stack them up and, and you can store them all stacked up together. So they're very nice. Okay. Um, the, I have two more things. Um, for some reason, I don't have a, I don't have a paper. I don't have a thing for the fairy lamp, but I mean, I'm going to sell it today. But I'm going to make sure I don't have it as a number to mess with Emma. I will make up a number. How did I leave the fairy lamp off? Hmm. Well, we'll make up a number. All right, this is the last thing, and it is this lady. She's a lady. She's a lady. Oh, 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 little Tom Jones. We talked about Tom Jones, I think, last week. There we are. She, oops. She's a lady. And she is a trinket box. You can pull her whole top of her body off. She's in excellent condition. She It, says, it just says that she is hand-painted. And... There she is. She's fancy. She's a fancy girl. I think she's holding her mirror, but she's a little trinket box. She doesn't have any chips, cracks, or flaws on her anywhere. She is $25, and she is number seven. She's $25 for the lady trinket dish, and she is number seven. $25. Number seven for the little, now her dress is a little low cut too. She's saucy, saucy, saucy. Uh, $25 number seven for Miss Lady Trinket. Miss Lady Trinket box. All right. Now we will, you know what? I'm just like thinking this. <laughs> One, I guess I have two things left because there's one thing here that, well, maybe I'll just save that one for next week. I'll save it for next week, but I will do the fairy lamp for right now. This is an offer up. I'm starting it at $40. It is a Westmoreland uranium glass fairy lamp. It's in excellent condition. There's no chips, cracks, or flaws on it. The top part of it is hand painted with these orange and white flowers. It is a very lemon. The yellow, okay, I will do it then, Noni. I'll do it next. That, that's what I'm like over here and I'm like, I didn't, I don't think I had it written down, but um, I'm seeing Sean is at $55. There's no chips or cracks or flaws. This one is Westmoreland, and the Westmoreland ones do not have an insert because they have these little ledges inside there. 
that the top of it rests on. It is Westmoreland. It has the W there on the bottom. It does glow. Um, these look really nice with the uranium glass fairy lights or like a, a black light fairy lights in them. Um, I see Randy is at $70. Yeah, the, now I have, I've sold the blue ones. I think I might still have another blue one, but the, they, they don't glow. The yellow one does glow. The blue one does not glow. Um, R&L Carver is at $80. Yeah, it, and it glows very nicely. You never know. It's these lights. I just can't turn them off right now. Otherwise, I probably would trip and fall over all these cords. But R.L. Carver, no, uh, Randy is, nope. Denise Point Poirier is at 90. Excellent condition. It's got this ruffled bottom, Westmoreland, no chips, cracks, or flaws. It does have uranium in it, so it does glow. Really nice color, really for, for spring, summer. Really nice for fall, too. You could put this out Halloween time, too. Um, I see R and L Carver is at 105. I like the little basket weave too around here. It is a satin glass. So it's, you know, it's okay. Randy is at 110. It's that, you know, we want to all get in here and roll around in the satin glass. If we could shrink ourselves. We could all fit in here. We could have a party in the satin glass. Satin glass. Party. Um, okay, I see Denise is out and Randy is at 130. Westmoreland, Wakefield, Fairyland. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah, we can all get in here, right? And have a party. Randy is at 150. I'm telling you what, on a, on a hot summer day, if you could get in there and just rub around, I mean, Singly, not. I don't think we we'll all need to do that together. That'll be a private event. That, that's great. R and L Carver is at one fifty five. Well, Joanne, it would look good in your B room. I have a little. I have a little B pot, but it's missing. It's missing its lid. Randy is at one sixty. We could have. Oh yeah, we could. We could have a. Satin glass bathing, well, satin glass sitting party with dips. Yeah, it would be, it would have to be a private event, Julia, because I don't think that we, it's not a good look. I don't think it would be a good look if we're all just rolling around in the satin glass bowl together. I mean, that you, everyone will have to take their turns, right? <laughs> um, R and L, no, Randy is at 70. Chips and dip. Yes. You know what? When we have our convention, everyone is required to bring their a chip and a dip. Chip and a dip. Kara, I don't want to, I don't want there to be water in it. I just want it, I just want to roll around in it with no water in it. Cause you if you're just to feel it, it's just cool. I don't know. But everybody bring their own chip and dip recipe to the meetup and margaritas. I like Virginia's idea with the margaritas too. Oh, we just say we're going to have a convention. We, one day we shall, we're going to, we're just, we're going to say, Hey, everybody, we're going to be here. Actually, Barb, Barb, Barb's going to, Barb's going to organize it. Right, Barb. <laughs> All right. Where are we at? I'm just, I'm going off on a tangent. Um, I think Randy Girl is at 170. I'm going to say last call. Last call for the uranium glass, um, Westmoreland, Wakefield, uranium fairy lamp. 170. Oh, RNL Carver's at 175. 175. Ooh, Randy girl is at 180. Chips and dips with no chips or cracks. Ooh, and we need to have Jeffrey make a commercial. 
Jeffrey can make a commercial that says that chips and dips with no chips and cracks. Just a little crazy. Yeah, that we that could be the commercial for the convention. Right? Yep. Westmoreland, you know what? You could like put cashews in here, right? <laughs> all right, I think where are we at again? I, I get all confused. Okay, 180. $180 going once to Randy Heilman for $180. It's pretty amazing. It is. These are the ones that I'm always looking for. They're not as easy to find. And when you do, you pay. You, you, you pay. I mean, I, I did pay for that one. I did pay for it. Thank you, Randy. All right. For some reason, I didn't have this on my paper, so I will, um, I'll make up a number for this. I have these sunflowers in here. The sunflowers don't go with it, but um, this is a little nubby art glass vase. Um, I just really like sunflowers and so, but I will take the sunflowers out. This does not glow. I wish that it did. It, it doesn't glow, but I don't know who made it. It reminds me of a sunflower that's been folded up. See, it's kind of brown down here. So it's kind of like the middle of the sunflower and it's been folded up. And it's got this bumpy design with this kind of melty. You like my adjectives. It's got this bumpy feel with the melty rim. Um, but it's, it's, just, it's just nice. And you can see like it's this is more yellow and then it's more white on this side so it just i don't know why but it reminds me of a sunflower um it doesn't have it was hand blown but it doesn't have a pontil mark and i i honestly don't know how they they put these bumps on there i don't know but it's very nice this is a little heavy it is a little heavy i am going to do it as an offer up. i'm going to start it at 20 dollars. i should have done that before, while i was talking about it and this is an offer up. I'm going to call it the Sunflower Vase. Um, I'm starting it at $20. It is, it's, it's very, very, it's just very cool. You know what, Julia? I think that you might be right. I think that it was stretched. So this was the design and then they stretched it to make that clear part. Julia, you got it. I think that that's right. Isn't this pretty? I, I just really like it. Now these are just faux sunflowers that I got at Joann's, but they look really nice in it, I think. Um, Sean is at 40. No, it doesn't glow. I wish that it did. Wah, wah. If it glowed, I probably would keep it because it's, it's really nice. It's just very fun and summery. It's a sunflower. It just reminds me of a, a folded in sunflower. I used to have, I used to be big on the sunflower. I had sunflower plates. I had sunflower curtains. I was big on sunflower back in the early 90s. Oh, you do? Oh, I love sunflowers. We, oh, hi, Yvonne. We sometimes will get, and I call them the sunflowers planted by Jesus because they'll just appear. Like, I think a bird has dropped a seed and they'll just like, one will pop up out of, in the middle of our yard. And it's just, and I won't let anybody take it down because it was planted, you know, it was meant to be there. But I would love to, I love sunflowers. We plant them along the back of our fence, but we're not planting anything this this spring because of the issue with our septic that we're having. We're not going to, we're not going to risk planting anything this year. All right, where are we at? So we are at Sean, Christine Jones is at $50. Oh, sorry, Mariah. So $50, $50 going once, $50 going twice, and sold. Sold to, I already forgot, my goodness, Sean Christine for $50. You know what? I don't think that it would be because our, our backyard is fenced in. So... I don't, they're, they just appear. And so we, we, you know, we, we keep them. I think that's everything. I don't think I forgot anything else. I'm just gonna, I do have one thing, but we'll do it, we'll do it another day. 
did we sell the figure? I don't think this sold. This was the only thing that didn't sell was the lady box. The figural lady box. She is um, $25 and she is number seven. $25. She's hand painted. $25. Number seven. She's in excellent condition. She's so tired and she needs her rest. And her little dress is a little low cut. So let me know if you would like that. Um, this, I'm not ready to sell it yet because it just, I mean, even though Jeffrey has blue eyes and those are brown, it kind of reminds me of me and, and Jeffrey a little bit. So I, I'm going to hang on to that for a little while longer. I am going to be selling the cat cruel pictures. Um, probably I'll sell one of them in next Wednesday sale. Oh, yay. Oh, good. I'm glad that you got it, Sharon. I'm so glad. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming to the sale. And um, I will be working on invoices tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll get them all done tomorrow. If not, then you'll get an invoice from me either tomorrow or Friday. Um, and the video tomorrow will be another shop with me with Jeffrey. Oh, the giveaways. Oh, I forgot. Thank you, Emma. I forgot. See, that's why Emma needs to be here. Oops, that goes. That goes in that. All right, so I'm gonna put all my numbers back in here. I do have two items that I am giving away. And let's stir them up. And thank you too to Lucy Van Pelt for the um, offer up for the Bluebird of Hope that will be going to the Dr. Susan Love Foundation. I will match it. All right, the two winners is, the first winner is the person who won number 59, which was the bottle cap grapes. That person wins these fun little retro salt and pepper shakers and a Stay Weird sticker. Denise Overby, you won. Oh, yes, I will do some crazy. I got a bunch of kitties. I will pull those. Yeah, I'll do those in the next sale. And then the next winner is the person who won number 17 which was the first thing we showed that was the dutch the little dutch people shakers that person won a vintage rescue squad sticker and the little iron salt and pepper shakers gia schaefer you won congratulations Thank you guys so much. I will be working on invoices and I have these sales every Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday, this next sale on Tuesday will be on Michelle Comfy Cozy Living's channel. Um, it is a three-way sale between myself, Michelle Comfy Cozy Living, and Michael, the Cult of Vintage. And every Wednesday here on my channel, I do these um, solo sales. So I appreciate it so much. I will see you guys very soon, hopefully Monday night at the Vintage Rescue Squad, Monday night at 8 Eastern Standard Time. I will have Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage and Patrick from the Trusty Huckster Mercantile. And Michael and I will be on there, so it's going to be a fun show on Monday night. And thank you guys so much. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will get these things all packed up and ready for you. Thank you to my girl, Emma, and I will see you guys later. Bye.